I accidentally opened up Clip Studio while trying to open up OBS, so now I got Clip Studio competing with me, but hi! Hello everyone! How are we today? I hope you all are doing well. I am so sorry I'm late. I was meant to start stream 35 minutes ago, and um, I ran into some difficulties because, um, DoorDash. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> but hi. I hope we're all doing well today. I hope today has been swell. <laughs> um, that's good to hear you happy. <clears throat> so before I go on to my usual book talking screen in which I discuss books that I have read recently or am currently reading, I did want to bring up something important. Uh as I feel this is important to bring up. So yesterday, if all of you were not, or all of you, if some of you were not aware, was Holocaust Remembrance Day. And it is an important holiday that I feel we should acknowledge and talk about. Now, I did bring this up in a post in the Discord that I run, and I think I worded it well in that post. And I know I tend to stutter a lot, and I don't want to stutter when I'm talking about this specifically because of how important it is. So I'm gonna read what I wrote and then add on to it as I feel necessary. So I put in the Discord here, uh, it's Holocaust Remembrance Day today, which was yesterday the 27th. Please take the time to educate yourselves on the history of the Holocaust and how deeply it has impacted Jewish, Romani, and Sinti people to this day. Anti-Semitism is still prevalent in our society, with violence against, against said groups of people having been spiking in recent years or months due to public figures such as celebrities and white supremacists voicing their disdain, hatred, and want for violence against said groups. Um, I am providing a link to the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum website so that you may read more about today, but also please check out verified websites outside of this one, which I will also add, read on, read books about the Holocaust as well that were written by survivors from the Holocaust as well as uh, just general people who are Jewish recounting the events from a relative or just in general talking about it. Uh, and I did provide a link as well to in the Discord to the International Holocaust Day page that they have on the United States uh, Holocaust Memorial Museum website. And I also want to add as well, because one of my moderators put some links to uh, some charities that go directly to supporting Jewish people specifically uh, in talking about and keeping the memory of the Holocaust alive, just to make sure that this never happens again. So I also urge you to look up charities that support Jewish people, Romani people, Sinti people, uh, and uh, donate to them if you are able to. And if not, just spread some charities around to others so that they may donate as well. I just wanted to bring that up because I, what I didn't stream yesterday, but I just wanted to like, you know, talk about it. And thank you for listening to that. I don't know how to transition properly to the next screen, so we're just gonna transition over but genuinely thank you for for listening to that i know it's a very important day and i just wanted to make sure that like you guys were aware of it as well so let's talk about books now all right <laughs> that sounded rude i'm so sorry i said uh, i don't know how to transition so but we're gonna talk about some books and then we're gonna get on to the thing that we're gonna talk about today that i'm really excited for so let me go get the books that we're talking about here. I got a few, so this is gonna take a second. <laughs> oh jeez. How many is it? Okay, I think I got all of them. Okay, so you know me. I like talking about books. <laughs> and this is a tradition, if you guys don't know, this is a tradition I started during my uh, Halloween uh, <laughs> streams, my daily Halloween streams that I did for the month of October. I just randomly asked one day if it would be okay if I could talk about 
books, and everyone was like, yeah, absolutely, go for it. And so I've started doing it since. So let's talk about some books. We're going to run through them like we did the last time we did this really quickly because there's a lot of books, and <laughs> I don't want to sit here for an hour talking about books. Because, one, I think that's not good for retention, and two, um, we got a lot of stuff to do today, so let's, let's, let's run through these, shall we? So the first book I read was African Town by Irene Latham and Charles Waters, which was a 400-something page long book uh, that is essentially just a collection of poems discussing, uh, and it says here in the little subtitle, uh, inspired by the true story of the last American slave ship. So it discusses the, as it said, the last slave ship that ever brought slaves to America from Africa. And it's from several different uh, point of views of the people who were forcefully taken in and essentially abducted and taken to America. And it's it was very, very good. It was very intense at times, as is the nature of this type of book in discussing slavery and when, I think this took place in the 1800s, right before 1900. Uh, so it, it discusses their abduction, their arrival, and their inevitable uh, s slavery ship. I hope that's the right term. And then eventually it gets into the Civil War, which then, I think at that point, slavery became abolished. And then essentially their lives from that point onward and trying to get back to Africa, but unsuccessfully doing so because there's just no feasible way for them to get at least 10, 15 people that are in their little group back on a ship back to Africa because of costs and also because it's just not charitable for them to get... There's nobody that's going to offer them a ship back is essentially what I'm saying, which is horrifically sad. So they established their own little township in Alabama called Africa Town. Which I found out is a real place. I thought this was um, one of those books that was like exaggerating and renaming places uh, for the sake of telling a narrative more so than being accurate. And like naming accurate things, I should say. <laughs> but it is a real place. It is a real township that exists in Alabama. And they uh, do have a website, actually. I looked it up and they have a little museum in there that preserves the history of the people, the original slaves that lived there, and is essentially doing their best to talk about, like, the history of the slaves that came to America and, like, why slavery as a whole was horrific. So it's a very, it was a very, very good read, five out of five. 100% would recommend all of you to read this. I think it's good that we should we, we keep educating ourselves about things like slavery. So this was a very, very good read. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I wish we rated it from, like, 10 instead of, like, 5. But yeah, no, top-notch read. I adored it. It was very, very good. The prose was beautiful. I just didn't like on the occasion when it was from a poem from a point of view of one of the slave owners. I just, I hated it. It was awful. So then the next book that I read was Penance by Kanai Minato. Oh, hi, Star. Good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you. So Penance by Kanai Minato. I actually wanted to read Confessions by this author, but we didn't have this in my local library. So I, next best thing, another book by this author. So I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. Um, it's a translated work. So this was originally written in Japanese and then translated over to English. Who was the translator? Let me check really quickly. Where is the translator? Make sure I credit them. Translated by Philip Gabriel. All right. Cool. So this book was a trip. <laughs> um, so it's about four girls uh, whose names are Sai, Maki, Maki. God, my voice trembled. I'm so sorry. Uh, Akiko and Yuka, who are friends with this girl named Emily, and one day while they're outside playing, she they get approached. Uh, yeah, the five of them get approached by this man, 
who's saying he's fixing the ventilation system at their school because they're playing around their school who they all it also has a pool which is important i'll explain in a second um and he roots through all the girls and then picks emily and takes her to have her help him with the ventilation system or supposedly he says so but only then when it's uh, when the curfew bell rings at 6 p.m., they go to investigate where she's been because she's been gone this entire time, and they find her dead in one of the changing rooms near the pool. And for 15 years after she died, they've been haunted by this supposed promise they made to Emily's mom, where Emily's mom essentially threatened them and said, you have to find this killer that the killer that killed my daughter before the Statue of the Levitations is up in Japan, which is about 15 years, um, excuse me, or, um, seek penance in a way that is acceptable to me, and if you don't do either of those things, I will ruin your lives. And, um, the kicker, they were in fourth grade when this happened, and when that threat was issued to them by the mom, uh, they were, like, 13. So... It haunted them for all throughout their lives until, and even when they became adults, and it was just, <laughs> I hated the mom so much, because I'm like, why are you threatening these children? Why are you threatening young kids over something that was out of their control? Like, <laughs> that's counterproductive. What are they gonna do? <laughs> and even then, they said they couldn't remember his face. So, like, ma'am, I don't know what to tell you. Good, <laughs> my god. It just made me hate her so much. And we got the point of views of, like, every single girl. And, like, the hell that they went through. And then went right at the end, before the epilogue, we got a point of view from the mom. And I just hate hated reading that point of view because she was just one of those people that I was <laughs> I was like would you shut up already I don't care <laughs> you're such a shit I hate you but I th I don't I couldn't tell at first if like I was supposed to sympathize with the mom but I don't think I was I don't know what the author's intentions were so it gets a four out of five for me I just I don't know. <laughs> I hope to read Confessions soon, and hopefully it's a bit, uh, better. Because I think this was very slow-paced as well. And also just, wow, my brain exploded a little bit, because I was like, why am I reading this? <laughs> why am I reading such horrific things happening to these girls? Good God. Moving swiftly along from the- the- wow, I can't talk today- <laughs> Moving swiftly along from that, I then read The Marrow Thieves by Cherie Dimeline, and this book was so... It was so good! It was so good! I loved this so much, and I hope there's more. Because it ended in, a, in like a certain way, and I was like, oh my god. I need more of this, like, immediately! <laughs> it was so good! I loved it so much. And it's about... The world in the far off future where everything's just gone to hell, everything's polluted, there's no clean drinking water, everything's kind of imploded in on itself, and eventually it gets to a point that I won't explain the lead up to because that spoils a bit of the plot if you're interested in reading this. Um, there's a lead up that eventually leads to the general public hunting down specifically indigenous people to kill them and eat their bone marrow. So they're just continually hunted and taken to these schools, as they're called, so that their bone marrow can be extracted and used for specific reasons. I loved this so much because not only does it have one of my favorite tropes ever, which is found family, but it has one of my favorite characters ever <laughs> in it. He made the entire book for me. His things, his name's Migmon, I believe. I loved him so much. <laughs> Every time 
like I like he was he's like a good constant throughout the book. So every time there was just a portion with specifically him and the main character, I was just so happy because I just loved him so much. He was such a he was such a dad. I loved him so much. I loved him a lot. But yeah, the main character's name is Frenchie. Racist cannibalism. Essentially so. But yeah, the main character's name is Frenchie. And like, this poor kid. This poor kid. He's lost everybody in his family. But he finds another family along the way. But then there's conflict later on about that whole dynamic. But like, oh my god. It was such a good book. It had a lot of commentary too about uh, indigenous culture and like preserving indigenous culture for latter generations. So like not losing the language, not losing the symbols that they use for written language. I, there's literally a term for it. The symbolics, I believe they're called. Um, as well as just in general, making sure that indigenous people live to see the future and persevere through this. I love Found Family, me too! Found Family is the best! <laughs> it's so good, I love it so much. But yeah, it's definitely a, definitely a, an intense book. They are constantly on the move, and it is a very good uh, book discussing matters around indigenous culture, and I, I just loved it so much. Five out of five. I hope this author writes more. I need a sequel, like, immediately, but it's okay if it's a standalone book. I will not mind that in the slightest, but I'm gonna be thinking about that book forever. <laughs> it is so, so good. There is miscommunication. I hated that so much, but I'm letting it go because the rest of it was just spot on. And also made me cry. <laughs> it was fantastic. And then to completely counter that, we have Tinfoil Butterfly by Rachel Eve Moulton. I just finished this book today. My god. <laughs> it's like a complete contrast to, to the, the Marrow Thieves. This book, I almost dropped it like three times not because the writing was bad because this it was more because the subject matter and there was a question i kept asking myself the entirety of me reading this book which was is this book a book that the author wrote because she wanted to explore a complicated character who did bad things and is trying to find redemption but can't seem to grasp onto it because she keeps self-destructing and da 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 Or is this the author's thinly disguised fetish? <laughs> Which is not a good thing to ask. <laughs> oh my god. So this is a book about a girl, her name is Emma. She ran away from home after a surgery she had because she's trying to get to the Badlands, but eventually, after running into a, a situation with a man who is a horrible person, she escapes and ends up at a gas station where she meets a young boy who wears a tinfoil mask in the shape of a butterfly, uh, and his name is Earl, and she kind of... <laughs> she falls into his world, it says in the back here. Yeah, she's pulled into... Earl's menacing world, and I just need to state this first. If any of you have any slight interest in reading this, please know that there is, I need to issue trigger warnings for incest, uh, botched abortion, uh, self-mutilation, self-harm, uh, <laughs> purposefully outing somebody using the F slur, uh, abuse toward a child, misgendering a child. You'll understand if you read it. I'm not gonna say much more than that. And a uh, bunch of other god-awful shit. <laughs> I was exhausted by the end of this book, and I am never gonna touch it again. Ever. I... 
hated this main character and I think the author did a good job in making me hate her because even when there were moments that were heartfelt I more so worried for Earl than I did for Emma <laughs> yeah, I can see her <laughs> I'm so sorry I yeah I went into this knowing nothing other than people on booktube recommended this as like a fantastic thriller book and then I went in and read it and I was instantly what like wait what the fuck this isn't what I signed up for what do you mean you know what I don't even care I'm gonna spoil this book because I I don't think you guys ha are gonna pick this up Emma has a relationship that's sexual with her stepbrother Ray and she almost got pregnant and had his baby, but it turned out to be a tumor. And I was like, <laughs> get me out of here. It was abhorrent. Why are people recommending this book? And not only that, she's such a shitty person that she convinces her stepbrother Ray that he's not gay because, like, she's selfish and wants him for herself. And he's seen having, like, a relationship with one of the teachers at the high school. He's, like, 17 or 18, so yeah, it's gross and underage. And she stops it, thankfully. That's the one good thing. But even then, he's, he's lamenting over it. Not because of the fact, well, he's lamenting it because he was in love with him. And, but he's... Try, he's discovering that he's gay, and it's like, she's like, no, you're not. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and then she calls him the F slur, and I'm like, what are you doing? This is sickening. I know, it's so gross. I can't stand it. I hate, this is We Were Liars all over again, where I had this conflict where the main character was in love with, like, a relative of hers, and I just wanted it to stop. This book, at the most, is getting a 3 out of 5. The writing was nice, but the subject matter... <laughs> Nobody should read about a character that's having an intimate relationship and infatuation with their step-sibling. This is disgusting. I... oh, Is this supposed to be ex an extreme horror? I don't even know. I can't even classify it as an extreme horror because I can't tell. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna move away from that book now and talk about something else. Uh, the one graphic novel that I read today, other than finishing Tinfoil Butterfly, was An Iranian Metamorphosis by Mana Neastani, which is a graphic novel detailing Mana Neastani's life at the moment that he made a cartoon that was meant to be like a, a children's... Uh, cartoon that you see in the newspaper it gets turned into this political cartoon it gets warped into having this political meaning that when it didn't have it before and thus he his entire life gets flipped upside down he gets sent to prison for several months at a time with his publisher and eventually it gets to the point where he has to flee the country because he's worried for not only his life, but his wife's life and also his family's life. It was horrifying to read all of the stuff that he was going through, and as well as the political protesting that was going on at the time, um, like surrounding it, and all because he, he wrote a word that was specific to a specific group of people that he knew in his language of Farsi, but was, uh, it meant something different to, let me see, which group of people was it? Hold on. Let me see if I can get it really quickly. As Aseri? The Aseri people in Iran. So, it, it was a very intense read reading about his time in solitary confinement for months at a time that eventually turned into solitary confinement with his publisher for months at a time, the people that he met, the experiences he had, and especially the intense 
uh, journey to try to get out of Iran before he potentially was murdered. And I believe he, it says on the back, yeah, he doesn't live in Iran even to this day. He eventually got into France. Uh, but it was a very complicated process because he literally had to get smuggled out of there. And eventually there's like an epilogue at the end too that talks about all the people that were mentioned of, that were of significance in the story. Or story, the graphic novel, sorry. But yeah, this was a very good read. I need to read more from Iranian authors and especially about the, the conflicts that are going on in Iran because I want to educate myself more on that. And this was... A very good read on like one specific experience of one person uh, that happened in Iran. So I'm giving this a 5 out of 5 as well. This was a very, very good read and I highly recommend it to everybody. As well as, like I said, African Town as well. That was a very good read as well. And now, the last book that I'm going to start reading tomorrow is called Before We Visit the Goddess by Chitara Banje. Banerjee, sorry, Diva Karuni. And I don't know much about this book other than I believe it's a multi-generational story and is eventually leads into like a mother-daughter story. And it sounds really beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of these edges that make it look like the books got like, it, it's got like, I don't know what these edges are called, but they, they make it look like it's older. But I don't know, they're textured edges I think they're called but I'm very excited to read this oddly enough it smells like perfume <laughs> I think the last person that read this had some pretty intense perfume yeah wait cause <laughs> it smells like perfume <laughs> okay <laughs> none of the other books that I have smell this intensely because most of them smell like old book that has been a sitting on a shelf for a while, but this literally, what is this smell? Hold on. It smells, I can't describe it. <laughs> I can't describe the smell. It smells very flowery, but I can't pinpoint exactly what the smell is, but I am very excited to read this. It's, it's very short. It's only 200 and, or not even, it's 183 pages long. Hold on. I can finish that in a day tomorrow if I really sat down and, and put my mind to it. But yeah, those are all the books. Let me go put this away now. My goodness. Okay, let's see. Put this all back in order that I picked it up from because I like being organized. Otherwise, I will cry. <laughs> I have an organization system for the books by order of uh, how many pages there are except for the graphic novels but anyway thank you for joining me on my little book talk that i do now let's get on to the first order of business so i almost typed in the wrong thing into youtube <laughs> that would have been not good in the slightest oh i got a headache from the the perfume Nasty. Okay. Not nasty. It's, uh, I just, I don't care much for perfumes. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I opened Clip Studio again. I'm a disaster. Sorry. Boop. All right. Hi, guys. It's, it's this screen now. We've transitioned over. So, where's the, is this, is, where is, there it is. Okay. I was just testing to make sure if it worked. So this is the YouTube channel for Petscop. I'm going to scoot it over a little bit. And scoot this over. You guys can see my subscriptions. That's not good. <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, let me get the... You guys can see yourselves for a second. Whoa! Pop out chat here. And then boop. Bloop. All right. So this is the Petscop YouTube channel. As you all know from the title of this stream, we are going to... Oops, I didn't mean to minimize that. Or chat, for that matter. My goodness, I'm so sorry. We're going to be reviewing Petscop. Now, I am aware of this. 
I've been aware of Petscop for quite a number of years now. Um, I remember when it was first starting, and I think it only had like three or four videos on the channel at the time. Um, I never finished it because I think it, I've never been good at paying attention <laughs> at things sometimes. If there's long stretches of silence, sometimes my brain wanders and I just cannot focus in the slightest. So I just never finished it, but I have had an interest in wanting to finish Petscop for a long time now. And I think today is the day. So there's well over 24 official entries plus a soundtrack to Petscop. <sighs> this is significantly longer than uh, when we reviewed Needle Mouse. So I'm fully aware we might be here for a really, really <laughs> long time. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to push it if you guys are feeling too tired then I might cut it off short, but, yeah, let, let's, let's get this, let's get the, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? You know what I should do, actually? Let's get it in a playlist, uh, cause that would make my life so much easier. Is there, oh, God bless someone put it in a playlist. Yay! People who put videos in playlists, you guys are awesome. Thank you. You make my life so much easier. Okay, this is all cut off now because I was silly. And I moved stuff over. Oh, how am I going to do this? Okay, hold on. Eh, trying to make sure that this is on the screen. Can you divide it into multiple parts? Um, That's risky because I have no idea when I will stream again. So, I want to get it in as much of like one go <laughs> I want to do it all in one go because it makes my life easier and I have a tendency to forget things if I don't do everything all at once this is why I'm not good at watching television shows because if you make me wait a week to see the outcome of something I'm gonna forget it because uh, I have the memory of a goldfish <laughs> Even when I'm streaming, too, or, or, like, you know, uh, streaming shows, that also happens a lot. Okay, just making sure this is all lined up and already ready to go. Play it at two times speed? No, but then I won't be able to understand him, because there is exposition throughout. <laughs> and I don't like missing stuff. Even The subtitles won't help me there, either. But, yeah, let's let's do this thing. Let me... Make sure you guys can hear. And now let's go. But I will put I will put on subtitles because God knows I can't. I don't want to miss anything. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna grab one of my stuffies, my stuffed animals. I call them stuffies. I'm sorry, so that I have something to hold on to. Oh, it even tells us what background music's playing. 1.5? No, absolutely not. Alright, so, uh, this is just to, um... Here we go. You, but I'm not lying about this game that I found. Ooh. I'm just gonna walk you through everything that I've seen so far. And, uh, I'll be Okay, Paul. As I described it, because this is it. This is so well done. I love the the loading screens and all the environments in this this game that was made for the series the gift plane has closed indefinitely and all personnel have left if you are unaware the gift plane provided homes to over a hundred young pets unfortunately we have failed to remove all of the pets from their homes 48 pets remain here at the time of writing we would strongly encourage you to visit our eight homes and find some friends to take with you God damn it, Paul. Stop going so fast. Paul! <laughs> we would strongly encourage you to take to, some friends to take home with you. Every pet is uniquely valuable. You should have no problem finding somebody that you love. The gift plane staff. And uh, the first level is over here. I'm just going to keep going over here so you can see that the game is apparently unfinished because there's nothing over here. 
Oh no, empty space. Here, I'm just gonna show you the, the one and only level. Wait, that, that makes- that- hmm. I still have a question about that, because I have seen the first uh, episode of Petscop, like, uh, so many times. Why- how did this- okay. How did this game end up unfinished? Well, no, not how did it end up unfinished, first of all, but also how did it, it end up in Paul's possession? I don't know if this game was a mass-marketed game or if it was a homebrew that somebody made that was that was close to Paul. I don't know. I'm just asking to open air <laughs> at this point. This actually is not the interesting part, but I'm just uh, going to show you. I'm going to walk you through all this. Things. Even care. Exactly what I, I love those loading screens. They're so cool. It's a picture of two friends, Toneth and Randis. Are they not cute? Give them a chance. Love the little bird. This door is locked. Or not, but you don't know how to open doors. That's right, that little- I still don't know what this little dude is. He looks like this little creature here. <laughs> the little creature. He looks like a human, kinda. But he's got no arms. And these little puffed out cheeks and this strange mouth that's maybe not a mouth I don't even, I don't know what this little guy is he's got some big feet stomping about <laughs> no shoes either can someone please give him some shoesies when you're choosing a pet find somebody that you like you don't have to love them right away <laughs> forgot about that. Choose someone you like. You don't have to love them right away. Huh? <laughs> don't be discouraged if they run from you. They really do want a home. They're afraid. Show them that there's nothing to be afraid of. But what if you're a bad person? First pet is in this room. He's a little ball with a hat. It's a trophy awarded to our Amber for being a real champ yesterday and today. She hasn't left her cage once. And, uh, first thing you gotta do here is, uh, let her out complacency. Of the cage, the other one. They award Amber with complacency. I don't know how to feel about that. And then you do that. Take the money here. How many times has Paul played this for him to? to get this part actually you go over here and just does that but if you uh do this if you lock yourself in here then you just remember we run over there bow, 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 bow. i love so that noise in here actually you can find a little place here to walk to the other side so that's that and so there's actually there's another Another one. I can't catch this one. Well, that's Toneth, I think. Always what happens. So I don't know what's up with that one. So uh, actually, I should show you the pause menu. We hope you are enjoying the game. Amber is a young ball. She's afraid to leave home. If her home is good, this is not a problem. She's very heavy, and that makes her life a little harder, as well as yours. Collected. What? What's the safest place you can put her in? You should start thinking about that. Sorry, Paul. Didn't mean to cut you off. Book of baby names. I still want to know what that is. Alright, so the second one here is sort of uh, music. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I think there is. You have to get your clone over there to overlap. I'll just cut to the chase. We just set this to, uh, what is it? Seven. And, uh, just like that. How does he figure this out? I don't totally get that one. Trial and error, I guess? That's that. You must have sat for a while trying to figure all of these out. Oh, little cloud. Right, so this one's kind of interesting. Uh, so the idea is, if you run over here to catch the flower here, then you'll just get rained on. 
Uh, what you're supposed to do is, whenever the flower comes over here, you notice, it always comes to that exact spot over there, which you can, uh, get this bucket. Mm. That exact spot. Mm hmm. That's the spot. Yeah. Oh no, the then flower. Then, then that happens, and you can just catch them both that way. Huh. Literally killed the flower just to catch it. That's interesting. So, yeah, that's it for the... Actually, that's I don't everything. Know. That's every single pet here that I've oh. been able to catch. Uh, so, uh -huh. now I'm going to show you the part that's actually interesting. Uh-huh, okay. Alright, so I still can't catch this guy. Mm-hmm. The reason we're here is because in the note that came with this, uh, which is short, the first line, in all capital letters, I'm gonna read it, it says, I walked downstairs, and when I got to the bottom, instead of proceeding, I turned to the right and became a shadow monster man. Huh. I got a date, uh, June 13th, 1997. Okay. For you. Colon. <laughs> Colon. Go to my website on the sticker, and also go to Ronith's room, and press start. And press oh, Ronith. Down, down, Not down, Tana. down, down, right, start. So I happen to know that this is Ronith's room, because it works. So I go mm. here. I'm just going to do this now. Uh, What's interesting is, like, go to my website... And also go to Ronan's room. <laughs> Please go to my website. What website? Where's the URL? Also, I think I, I remember this came out when YouTube annotations were still a thing. So that little note that Paul got with the game was an annotation, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. I think... It was an annotation at some point, and I think it's also in the description. The game I found. Oh, yeah, it was also in the description as well. Um, but yeah. So what is it? Down, down. We gotta down, pay attention down, to the down, right. descriptions for this as well, I think. Alright. No, oh, the music so stopped. You can see that it accepted it, and the music stopped. I'm just gonna go out this way here. So, uh, it appears to be the same, except... I like the footsteps. Actually leave here. It'll be a little bit different. I'm sorry. I'm just talking over Paul. I feel bad. <laughs> Alright. Are we... Are we... Where? Yeah, there we go. We're here, in the weird field room place. So there's uh, nothing out here, as far as I've seen. But actually, I think there is something out here. There's nothing out here, but actually there might be. Because, it sure seems like, in this note here, it sure seems like, right, I'm supposed to come out here and look at something. I haven't found anything yet, but I'm thinking if I just keep walking around here, I'm going to find something eventually. I, I, Got cut off. Hey, so I was talking about how I couldn't find anything out here. Well, I just found this. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, last time I came out here, I was walking around in this space here for over an hour. And this time I find this in uh, less than 15 minutes. So, wow. this is just luck that I happen to find this. Yeah, really. And, uh, I think if I were to restart my console right now, I would not be able to find this again. Mm hmm Because I don't remember what I... What I did, you know, all the, the directions that I went. I think Paul experienced the the thing that happens to all of us when we we play video games, where we go a certain direction and we find something cool, and we're terrified to like close out of the game because we don't remember how we got there. <laughs> like, oh, I found this really cool thing, but now I don't know how to get back here. I don't want to close the game now. <laughs> I've, I've definitely 
had that happen to me before. So I so, empathize. Uh, so I'm kind of scared to, you know, I want to keep the, the console on until I figure this out. The situation is that I Oh, pray you don't door, overheat it. Uh, I probably can open the door, but I don't know what to do. So I thought I would just slip this in at the end. Uh, if you think you saw something that might provide a clue, uh, please let me know. All right. That's it. Cool. Okay. It immediately goes on to the next one. So that was a pretty... I still think the first one is a really good introduction to the series as a whole. Because it's just Paul going through the game and then eventually saying, like, I found this note. Because he's not dire directly talking to us. He's talking to somebody else, like a friend of his, I think, or family member, somebody, who he's saying, I want to show this to this person. And the only way I can think to do it is upload it to YouTube where they can see it. And it's just a good introduction to not only Petscop, the game, but also Paul as a character. It's very well done. I really like it. I've always liked the first Petscop video. <laughs> um, and I, I, I don't remember how far I got when I originally was watching this, but I definitely got pretty far in. I didn't get far enough to where I was going to finish the series, but I got a little bit past the first couple of episodes. I think it eventually hit 10, but I don't remember. Either way, the first one was very good. And then the mystery gets deeper. We're just, <laughs> we're just staring. I think Paul's away from his console at this point. Oh. <laughs> yes, the door just randomly opened. Hey, so, uh, the door opened on its own. Is it like, is it like that one game, that one game where you have to wait, uh, for an inordinate amount of time so that the, a certain thing will happen? Because if that's coded into the, the into the, into Petscop, that, that's so annoying. <laughs> I was just in the other room for- I feel bad for Paul. A couple of minutes. If that's the case. And I came back and the door was open and I checked the recording. Oh, he left the recording on. Nice. And the door just opens on its own. I didn't do anything. Hmm. So, I'll take it, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you what's in here now. I haven't seen it yet, so uh, this could be interesting. Let's see what we're in for. That's a loading screen. You can't really tell, but it is a loading screen, I think, from the original game. Surprised there's little little collectibles down here. Always did uh I always did wonder why are there still collectibles to find throughout randomly <laughs> when he's exploring this just weird unknown part of the game that was previously not public to people who have played the game before? I don't know. <laughs> Either way. I guess it's an incentive for something, but those trinkets don't do anything. I, I don't know. <laughs> that that aspect I've always questioned, because I'm like, why do we... Wh who cares about these little things that you can collect? <laughs> Shouldn't you care about everything else? But then again, I guess Paul is like me, and, I ha and you have to, like, collect everything. Oh, so yeah, there's a phone ringing. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Care left the room. Oh. Oh no. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I don't know, Paul. A phone call? I don't know. A B N L M. A B N L M. Thanks for reading what I just read, Paul. Knew I could count on you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm 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 not trying to be snippy. I'm not mad. I am jesting. I do like Paul's little comments, though. He's exactly... He's acting exactly the way I would. If I were in this situation. Except I'm a little bit less 
inclined to not say anything like he is. A house. A greenhouse, if you will. Oh god, he's already had a hundred of those little things? Jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, we will play a, a an intense noise as you stare at this building. Oh, a windmill. I love windmills. They're so cool looking. I've always liked windmills. I found them interesting. Oh. Just keep going. Yeah, really. Just keep going and they just keep going. Oh, there's a another side. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Paul's little comments here and there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's just gone. Hmm. I can't really formulate what's happening currently because there's not enough information for me to work with. Which is the downside of series like this compared to what we got with Needle Mouse. Because with Needle Mouse, we got information like constantly thrown in our face and we could infer things from literally the beginning. But with something like Petscop, where it's such a drawn out series and you have to continually watch through and piece it together as it's going and you probably get more information as you go along is it's just hard to immediately piece together what's going on because you're taking it in and i think that's the one drawback i don't care much for when it comes to pet scop yeah it's good to like draw it out and not immediately like hit the viewer with information but at the same time you have to find a perfect balance between what you think is important information for the audience to know and what is just um just not necessary because i i i don't know what i'm saying i'm rambling on i think sorry for not talking very much i'm a little bewildered if you want to know the truth you know what that's fair call i completely understand this is a little more than i was expecting to see understandable honestly Oh. That's a dead kid. <laughs> so, so straightforward. That's a dead kid. Yes, thank you, Paul, for that... <laughs> for that observation. So, how old was this kid? Seven? Shoot, wait. Yes, seven. He was seven years old. That's... I think I remember the first time I watched this and I saw that. I couldn't formulate... I say formulate. I couldn't calculate what the kid's age was. I had... All I had to go off of was Paul's... Just... <laughs> That's a dead kid statement. Um... So now that I actually can calculate how old this kid is and knowing that this Michael here is seven years old when he died is... Ooh, that is... Oh my god. That is upsetting. Whew. But yeah, thank you for being so blunt, Paul. <laughs> yep. That's a dead kid. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's a dan daisy. It's a daisy. I thought I was gonna say dandelion, then I'm like, wait, that's not right. That's the wrong flower. I hate that noise. <laughs> wait. <laughs> you say that as you have three petals left. Shouldn't you have checked it before?
I make these comments as if I'm watching this for the first time. I, I've seen some of this before, so... <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm just talking to open air. Don't mind me. I'm so sorry if I'm being obnoxious, by the way. I promise you I'm trying not to be obnoxious. I'm trying to interject with statements here and there and also just react. But I, I feel like I'm being obnoxious a little bit. I'll try to tone it down. Oh my god. Okay. So when I first came down here, I thought I was just gonna see like one room. Uh, like something, but not this. Yeah. I mean, oh. Yeah, it would, it would be a lot to take in if you were Paul playing this for the first time. Trying to piece together what's going on. Uh, is that door just moving? I'm sorry if you can't see some stuff, by the way. I'll try my best to describe what's happening as I see it. If you can't see, like, the really dark portions. Oh, there's scribbles. Well, no, hold on. There was a thing. Wait, no, Paul. Hold on a second. Hold on, this is like my fourth time seeing this, and I've never seen that little... Oh, there's words up there. Enhance! I can't enhance, otherwise it, it ruins the video player. What is... There's no way to make out what those words say up there. It's too crushed by the pixels. I have no idea what it says. Hmm. Oh. 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 <laughs> and then Paul was going, huh? What? <laughs> what? Is he gonna put what in here? I don't remember some parts of this either. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's fair. You did just ask it what? It's not gonna answer your question if you just put that that in there. That's not a question, that's just a word. Okay, there's the windmill there as well. Keep watching the windmill. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Paul so much. I don't know why. I think it's just because I, he and I have similar reactions <laughs> to things. I've said that like multiple times. I'm repeating myself. Very ominous window. Alright, so it's been like two minutes. And, uh, when those sounds were playing, there was nothing happening as far as I could tell, and nothing has happened since. Hmm. So, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. There's already been stuff that I should dig a little deeper into, and I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Uh, and keep you updated. Okay. Uh, but also... Just making sure the video isn't ending all. then. Oh. Hopefully you're feeling a little more enthusiastic about that now. We can investigate this together. Oh yeah, the person and that he's talking to. That I can't find here. So the person's coming home next month, but they were hesitant to do so before. And he hopes that they're not hesitant now. Oh my god, it's the quitter's room! This is the one thing I remember from the series, is the quitter's room. I cannot tell you why. Boop, 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 uh, beep. The <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so used to 
used to overacting in these types of series, so to have someone have a genuine reaction just saying, like, what the fuck, <laughs> is weirdly refreshing. I don't know why. <laughs> also kind of funny. It throws, throws me off every single time. What was that just now? I don't know. A little, a little melody. Beep, 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 boop, beep, beep. Wait. Also, that other character was out of sync for a second when he did that. Hey, sorry, I had to look at that for a moment. Uh, in the video. I was a little nervous. Uh, the tones, I think this is the same tones, uh, that you might have heard in the beginning. I'm gonna put in the beginning the part where the door opened. Uh, and also the way the guy on the other side was moving for a moment. I'm gonna ask for your comment later on that. Um, so I was looking around here, so this is backwards. Do you remember right? being born? Do you remember being born? Fun fact, I don't think I've told anybody or, or told stream this in general. I can read backwards text. Like if you got rid of the subtitles, just gave me this and asked me what it said, I would be able to tell you that it says, do you remember being born? Because I can read backwards text. I trained myself how to read backwards because there were games that I used to play back in the day that had, like, sentences that were backwards. So I, I taught myself how to read backwards just for the sole purpose of being able to read backwards. <laughs> I don't know how to write backwards, but I can read backwards. It's so weird. <laughs> One of my strange little talents that I have. Uh, but yeah, I can, I can, I can read backwards text, and I do remember before the subtitles were ever put on these videos, I was able to read that before Paul explained that it said, "Do you remember being born?" But yeah. Um, and this just says Twitter's room. Yeah, that's also I was able to read that as well. Reverse guide. Here. Twitter's uh, room. Yeah, okay, so. Moving on. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to keep the quitter's room in mind. Oh, stairs! Grass texture. Loading screen. Oh! And I'm back up here again. Except you're backwards because you entered it with the this cellar way. thing facing forward and now it's facing backward. Those letters are backward! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, okay, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll explore further. I was gonna say, what do you mean? You're not gonna do what right now? Alright, so I'm gonna stop this now, actually. Fair. Oh. Alright, so now we're gonna look at- Nope, 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 Paul, hold on. I didn't look at the description of this last one here. Uh, it didn't have anything anyway. <laughs> so, okay, we'll we'll, we'll- we'll- we'll take a second to assess what happened in this- this specific one. We'll- we'll- we'll just run through the- the basic, uh, stuff that happened. So the first thing that happened was that the cellar opened up from the previous one when Paul left his console alone for a period of time and it opened up. Um, and he went down and found this little area be beneath that has a bunch of these little collectibles everywhere. And then eventually he finds a little office space and answers a phone that says Care has left the or Care left the room. So then that conjures up the question, who is Care, then? And then he also finds this paper that has A, B, and then N, L, M with these little girl characters on it. Um, one of them's clearly distressed, and the middle one here is in the process of being distressed, and then the top one is not distressed. And then he finds these series of pictures. One of them is a greenhouse. Another one is this building that has multiple floors on it that looks like an apartment complex or like 
an office building, a multi-level building that has three floors with about six rooms across minus the bottom where there's like an entrance here presumably to a parking garage or something below it and then there's the windmill which comes into play later and then he finds this little area with uh, cars keeps exploring he eventually stumbles upon this room with a shed where he finds a, a tombstone that's a plaque for a boy named Michael Hammond who died at seven years old we don't know who Michael is, and we don't know how he died. So young. It had to be, have been something tragic that happened to him. So anyway, he goes into here. He finds a daisy. He starts plucking it, doing like... You know when you pluck a flower, when you're doing, you like, love me, love me not? And I'm like, he loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. That's what I thought of when this was happening and then there's this the girl here that from the picture the NLM picture uh she's like the spitting image of NLM but yeah Paul finds her after plucking all the flower petals and then seemingly goes to try to collect her but can't because she's Is her face on fire or something? I genuinely have never been able to figure that out. If her face is on, like, fire or something. Anyway, he leaves her behind. He goes behind the shed. He finds this building with a shifting door in the back. And goes in. He finds some pictures. And then he finds this thing. NLM. Yes. He, he finds this thing that looks like a guitar to me. And asks it, what? <laughs> and then get, doesn't get an answer. He looks behind it, and then there's the windmill from the picture before. And the thing tells him that he should stare at the windmill a while longer, but nothing happens. To which he then travels on, finds a set of stairs, and then finds the quitter's room. And then he does something. He goes behind this bookcase back here, and the little tone plays, and then suddenly he's at a sink with the person on the other side of the quitter's room and he takes a moment to assess the footage and then he finds this this statement i guess this question uh asking do you remember being born and then promptly exits on the opposite side where he entered so it's a lot to take in we're gonna have to keep a lot of these locations in mind probably for the future Knowing that it's a horror series, so... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep as much of the information as possible so that you guys won't have to struggle remembering right, stuff. So now we're gonna look at... So now we're on to Pet Scop 3. Is there anything in the description? No? Okay. Okay. Alright, let, let, let's keep going, shall we? Um, what's we got a lot of these to get through. Good. I can't do that recap for every single one. But I'll try. Good grief. And... Alas. What is... Is that like a real... Wait. I remember seeing that before. Is that a real phrase? That's like from literature or something? Like a, like a book? Let me look up good grief and alas. Oops, that's not it. Oh, it just leads me to the Petscop wiki. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. I guess it's not from a book. All I saw was Child Library, but I'm not going to look forward because I don't want to spoil myself or you guys, so. A depository. This game must have been a technical nightmare to put together. Especially with something like that. Like a rotating deposit box thing. 
I'm, just, I'm thinking about this game from a technical level. <laughs> I'm not actually thinking about it from the plot. I'm just thinking about, like, how much time did it take to code this thing? It must have taken a millennia. Also, eyeballs. We're putting a face together. Woo. <laughs> I already know he's he's about this thing. He's just making a face. <laughs> Good choice of face, Paul. It just looks like a little face that's going, eh? I know that's supposed to be a nose, but it kind of looks like a little mouth, like, eh? What'd you say? This is just flat out a full game. I'm playing now. Yeah, you, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Uh, wait. I would assume. Cause it looks like you're on a little elevator. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I was supposed to do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I reset it. Yeah. Cause you made a random face. Okay, try that again. Is he just gonna make the same face again? Paul. Oh no, he's he's not. He's the eyebrows are different. Paul. So do I just wait? I mean I would assume so. I think I said that earlier. It's like a little little video. An offering of sorts. Ooh. Yeah, it turns out I just had to wait, but I had to wait a while. Hmm. Uh, so this is cleared out, I guess. So that's a nice. Right, right. Oh, it's a little, it's a little kid's room. Love that, that eight ball there. <laughs> the magic eight ball. I had a magic eight ball when I was younger. That's just reminding me. I had a, I had my dad had a magic eight ball when I was younger in his office, and I would often go to it and consult with it, <laughs> like ask questions, like little like yes or no questions, and it would it would it would ease my my little tiny mind for a while, <laughs> my little tiny child brain. I was like, will I do well on my test tomorrow? And it would answer. Yes, and I would say, yay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about the Magic 8 Ball. I'm so sorry. I just focus on one little thing. I just so focus I just on that. It again. I put in another one of these, and I just let it go. And it, and the room rumbles for a while, but then it just stops kind of abruptly. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have here now. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Terrifying carpet. There's a Pez dispenser. Oh, I miss Pez dispensers. I miss Pez yeah, so in general. Like I put in one of these faces, and it gives me a room with a with like a kid sitting on the bed in like a different pattern on the floor and the walls and the thing here. Mm -hmm. So that's our table. Uh, it seems like there are many combinations uh, of these faces. So, if I were to guess, these rooms are... Because there's not much variation between these rooms. They're probably generated in some way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll, I'll try a few more. Every time I put in one of these, I have to wait for, like, ten minutes. So Ten minutes? Uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, ten... Yeah. Ten minutes? Here's another one. 
That, why did, what? That's absurd. 10 minutes to load one room? Good lord, and it only loads like this amount of space every single time? My god. Your game design is not optimized. There's Game Boy Advance. Wish I had a Game Boy Advance growing up. I had a DS. I thought Game Boy Advances were cooler. <laughs> and here's another. Oh, that girl had hair that I had when I was, like, young. Also, there's Play-Doh on the table. Yeah, like the straight with the bangs. Yeah. I had that hair growing up. So, anything, uh, look familiar here? Hmm... Yeah. Yeah, so... The faces. Probably we're supposed to try these out. Put in these faces and see uh, what we get. So, probably. Uh, start with this one. Alright, we're going to Michael's room. Mike is not inside right now. He is dead. Thanks for reminding me. You may visit his room. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's not in his room right now because he's dead. So this is the room. Corresponding to the face on the grave stone. There, why are there tweezers? There's the thing. I'm not sure what that is on the right. Those are tweezers. I'm pretty sure. Why, why are there tweezers there? Do you like right. to like pluck his eyebrows or something? Because mm -hmm, he's, as the thing reminded, dead. Care is missing. You may visit her room. Okay. So that's a stark difference. Care is missing, whereas Michael is definitively dead. Here's the other room. Okay, she's got crayons. And the thing there as well. And it looks like there's something here. Oh, there's a note. Oh, it's, it's the note. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your wife says care isn't growing eyebrows. Okay. You say that's a puzzle. Okay. What's the matter? You're secretly very excited to hear this new- Um... <laughs> Why? Why, why is this person excited that Care isn't growing eyebrows? Uh, I've never been able to figure this out. <laughs> never. You're in the bathtub thinking about her. Oh. Ew. Gross. I have a guess at which child you'll pick next. What? <laughs> When you find her room, the passage to my right will lead to her. Huh? Oh, we've suddenly swapped who it's addressing. She'll appear from the darkness, limping, and I'll shoot her in the head. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was about to say, Paul. What? Tiara says young people can be psychologically damaged beyond rebirthing. Oh, God, we're talking about the rebirthing thing already. I forgot. Oh, God. A young person walks into your school building. There are so many just different perspectives. It goes from second person to third person addressing, or like first person addressing another person, and now it's like third, no wait, second person again. I'm deeply confused. They walk in with you. You're holding their hands. Both of them? Why are you walking into a building with both- They come out crying into their hands because nobody will love them, not ever again. Oh, oh. oh. That's upsetting. Nobody loves me. Oh, I think that's Care. They wandered the new maker plane. I think that's Care because when Care is mentioned, her name is yellow. Right? Hold on. We're going back to the beginning of this. Yeah, care isn't growing eyebrows. Imagine reading a book like this. 
You ever hear that one book called You? I think it's written like that in second person. I don't think it swaps between perspectives like I was talking about, but uh, still. <laughs> I would not read this book if there was a book that swapped uh, person perspectives like this. It would confuse me too much. But yeah, I think this is care. Uh, that says nobody loves me. So that means NLM. Nobody loves me. I'm not sure what to say about that. Neither do I. I know, Paul. I'm just, I'm just as stumped as you are. But I'm wondering now. Cause the note. Remember the note that came with this game. Mm hmm said for you for you it was for you and who's the you in this, this case is referring to the player it's saying you yeah who's the you uh, and because it's not us it's not paul it, but, uh, certainly not because this game is older than he's been around i think possible. this game was made for, well, this part of the game was made for somebody to see. Mm-hmm. Right. Or at least at some point, it was, it was, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like it was, it was intended for somebody. Not Probably. Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting like I'm conversing with him. We're still not done. Uh, I looked right. Yeah, I did. One thing I want to comment is how Paul reminds me a little bit of Jay from Marble Hornets. Because Jay, throughout the entirety of Marble Hornets, even though it's not a very apparent if you aren't following like the Twitter outside of the series, because... Why would you? <laughs> but um, Jay, throughout the entirety, of the, uh, yeah, in the entirety of Marble Hornets, is inquisitive. Like inquisitive, he's constantly asking the same questions that we, as the viewer, are asking and trying to crack codes and understand what's happening to him and everyone else around him. And so Paul reminds me a lot of Jay as well, because he's also inquisitive and asking questions that we, as the viewer, would also ask, like, "What's going on here?" Who is this intended for? What am I seeing? What's going on? You know, trying to piece this together as we are trying to piece this together. So I think that's one thing that is done well, is that he is not only a relatable character, but also a character that's constantly asking questions throughout, instead of just being complacent about everything and just throwing up his hands and saying, I guess, he's just constantly like, what the hell is going on? And it, that's admirable for a character. Because we still have whatever's over here. Ooh, it's the void. Or not. <laughs> or not. Well, there it goes. I love when the little dude runs off screen and disappears. <laughs> you don't hear his footsteps anymore. <laughs> okay. send this here then <laughs> yeah I mean what else is there to do okay so we're on to the fourth one which also doesn't have a description so the most we got out of the last one was the note the note and the the discovery of rooms related to Michael and care and also finding out that care has a little bit more to do with what's going on than what we were leg originally led to believe also this entry is like two minutes long so this is going to take a not too long to go through but yeah that that note <laughs> mm. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel. I'm grossed out more than anything because I don't like that one line that's like you're thinking about her in the bathtub. It's 
ick. I got like a major ick when I when I saw that. It was like, ew. What are you doing? Michael and his cat. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's not your your Michael. Your friend Michael though. It's a different Michael, because the Michael you know is not seven years Don't old. Trying to explain yesterday and failed to explain. Uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate that to you now. Sorry, what? I just completely zoned out. I was like, not paying. I'm so sorry, Paul. Could you repeat yourself? <laughs> so, if you remember what I was trying to explain yesterday and failed to explain, my coal. Uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate that to you now yeah so he's ex he's talking to the person again trying to show them the uh, thing they found yesterday or he found they yesterday found this yesterday looks like a gun <laughs> just a and, gun uh, sticking straight up in the ground this is so we're upstairs right now yes we uh, are upstairs you saw me walk up some stairs mm-hmm so if you were to imagine what is what 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 would be exactly below where I'm standing right now, uh, and I worked it out, it's roughly uh, the area where you have the big screen uh, with the windmill. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I think so. This this I think is a camera. Oh. If I uh, walk in this direction. It's to, it looks like a gun to me. This I don't know. Is, uh, roughly where the uh, windmill would be. Right. Why there isn't actually a windmill here, I don't know. Uh, it looks the platform's like wobbly. Uh, Shift them a little bit. Might just be the PS1 graphics, so. Yeah, I think my understanding is correct. Hmm. Okay, that's it. That's it. Just wanted to update on the windmill, I guess. So further, oh, oh, there's something in the description. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay, 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 okay. So, Paul has written in the description here. We're five entries in. My goodness. Hello, folks. I guess this is for all of you now. The following are the questions where the response was, I don't know. So, okay, so he's direct, He's addressing us directly now in this description. Because prior to this, he just didn't put anything in the um, description. It was just blank. And now he's directly saying, he, I, I think he now knows that he, he like we're watching the videos. He's aware of the audience now. So these are questions, so I'm assuming he's going to ask the thing questions now? I think this is the entry where he asks the thing questions. Care, Mike, Michael, who is Care, who's Care, who is Mike, who's Mike, who is Michael, Tiara, who's Tiara, where are you, where am I, what is NLM, NLM, New Maker Plane, who is New Maker, New Maker, what is Petscop, Petscop. <laughs> How to see windmill. See windmill? These all sound like entries that you would put into Google. <laughs> like things you would put into Google just to inquire about something. <laughs> this sounds like how I type things into Ecosia to ask questions. Um, <laughs> windmill, what is this? ba 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 <laughs> An exclamation point and question mark. Two question mark. Who is Marvin? We asked this one after the video ended. Who's Marvin? Same as above. Marvin? Same as above. The following are questions with real responses so far. I'm going to save those for when we get through the video. Because those are questions that are answered in the video, I believe. Ba 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 asking as many questions as I could think of. That's smart. Uh, mostly like short three word things. Uh, Probably because I couldn't take anything more than like and, three uh, words. Most of the questions that I asked just produced no answer or uh, you know, 
the default answer. The default Which is, answer was I don't know. I don't know. Yep. So then just gave me that. Except for four of them. Uh, and I'm going to go through each of those four now. Uh, the first of the four was... Who is the... I think... I think... I let me pause this again. So I think with the when we by the time we've reached this entry, now that we've reached this entry, I should say, I think we get more questions answered. So we can start theorizing. I also have to bring something up after this entry, uh, after we finish this because of a specific thing that was asked. There is. A thing in here and I have to talk about it <laughs> because it's a common thing I think in the pet scup community that has been denounced since by both the creator and uh, the community at large so we'll, we'll talk about it when we get there I also tried who is Tear, who is Mike who is Michael and I tried other forms too like uh, uh, just Tear, just Mike just Michael which is the only one that Petscop kid, very smart. Man, I want to be a Petscop kid. I don't know why that title sounds a appealing for some reason. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm curious to know, do any of you guys, with the information that's been given so far, have any, like, theories that you're speculating on? Just in general, like, it, it can, if you don't have any, that's alright, I just, I'm just curious, because I have a couple so far, but I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> just yet until we finish this. Oh, new maker. So, so it said, who am I? So he asked, who am I? And then the, the thing came back with new maker, so now that... We can refer to this as the new as new maker, by the name of new maker rather. The next, yes. Where am I? This must be so tedious having to put in these individual, like letters, to ask a question, especially with the controller. Oh, that's so tedious. under the new maker plane. Okay, so the thing that they're in currently, the place where Paul's at currently uh, is the new maker on. plane. Oh. Bright pink. Uh, I don't know why that just happened. Highlighter pink. We've got a, we, we've had a color change. Uh, My head hurts a little bit. I think yeah, the, Aftermath of the perfume smell is making my head hurt, and the light's not helping. I might have to go get an aspirin. I don't know why that just changed color out of nowhere. Who are you? Did he say who he asked who are you? Okay. I keep talking over him. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to. I think it broke. Uh oh. You make her broke. Yeah, I don't think that even just just registered at all. Turn off PlayStation. Okay. Oh. So that's not that's not what it said before when I put in that question. Mm. Did not hmm. look anything like that. Crack my elbow. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what do I ask now? Why? Why turn off? I'll try just why. Why? Okay. Didn't work when you put what? Why would it work when you put why? Oh boy. 
Any day now would be great. Hello? They're thinking. They're thinking on it. They're pondering the question of why. <laughs> <laughs> you stumped them. You stumped them. Marvin picks up tool. Hurts me when PlayStation on. Oh, new. Oh, tool. New maker tool. I think they're referring to the themselves here. The the the. This fucking game. This game. Yeah. 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 You know when a game just randomly swaps, like flips everything you knew about it on its on it on your head, its head, and you're just sat there confused, <laughs> asking a a a statue thing in the middle of a old wide open room, the question of why, and then it gives you a very interesting response in return. Definitely. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I am so sorry. Alright, what do I... What do I have to ask now? Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, and it changed color again. Yeah, again. Huh. I think it just... Okay. Huh. Well, it's no longer highlighter pink. I think that was Tiara. I don't or did it just have a moment of sentience and just it was able to take control so for I, a second? I in, what was it? I put in who are you again. Is that gonna... Let me see what happens when I put that in. Again. Oh, this, like I said, this must be so tedious to have to do this. Tool. Yeah, so that's what it said originally when I put it in. Okay. So this is tool. I was right when I well, okay, that's said it before. Are. Mentioned it before, rather. Um, so I guess I'm going to wait for that to happen again. Uh, but oh. I guess I'm going to end the video now, though. Uh. Oh. Then still more to it. Re mem remem remember oh is he asking it do you remember being born the question that was asked in the quitters room Remember being born? I'm not Tiara. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back here for a second. So... Okay, Paul didn't put... The other questions. Oh, that didn't fit. I assume most people know. You know, actually, you don't. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Generally, generally, you don't remember being born because you don't remember. Your memories don't start formulating until around the time you're four or five years old. You don't have cognitive memory until then. So yeah, you would not remember being born, especially. Um. But yeah, that's, so there's a lot of things that we can pick up from here, from the questions that Paul asked about uh, where he is, what that uh, thing is that he's asking questions to, and most interestingly, asking, remember being born, and then getting the answer of, I'm not Tiara. So, there's something I have to address with this series that was a running theme 
or seem. A running theory at the time of this entry's inception that people were already like jumping onto and writing it off as this is this. So there was a girl. Let me pull up the Wikipedia page for it. Her name was Candace Newmaker. She was a very real girl that existed. I spelled Candace wrong. I feel bad. Oops. So her name is Candace Newmaker. Uh, she was a little girl. She was only 10 years old. She she was very, very, very real. Um, and she went through a controversial therapy uh, called rebirth therapy. or re Yeah, rebirth therapy, I believe it's called. Um, where you go through the process of being born again or something along those lines let's just read the wikipedia part of it i feel like i'm summarizing it horribly uh candace elizabeth newmaker also uh, born as candace tiara elmore was a child who was killed during a 70 minute attachment therapy also known as rebirth therapy i believe it's called Session performed by four unlicensed therapists purported to treat reactive attachment disorder, which... Okay. I've never heard of that disorder before. The treatment during which Candace was suffocated, including a rebirthing script, she was wrapped in a flannel to represent a womb and then told to free herself. Candace started screaming and vomiting and she couldn't get out. The therapist said if she wanted to die, then to die, which she did. I've heard of that somewhat recently. Yeah, it was a very horrible thing. The mom tried to rebirth her daughter so that she would have a fresh start, so that she would stop with this reactive attachment disorder that she had. Um, and during the process of which, I believe there was a question asked in here uh, that one of the therapists asks, asking if she remembered being born. I believe. But uh, it also says, says here, uh, 40 minutes into the session, Candace was asked if she wanted to be reborn. She faintly responded, no, this would ultimately be her last word. To this, Ponder, one of the therapists, replied, quitter, 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 quit, 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 she's a quitter. Jean Newmaker, who said she, later she felt rejected by Candace's inability to be reborn, was asked by Watkins to leave the room in order for Candace not to pick up Jean's sorrow. So, there's a lot of stuff that is parallel to things we are seeing in Petscop currently, like the Quitter's Room, the Do You Remember Being Born statement, the, you know, t talk of rebirth and stuff like that. Um, and this was a real thing that the creator was making allusions to, but was highly scrutinized by the community about because they he was taking the tragedy of a real child getting suffocated to death through a controversial therapy that was conducted by four unlicensed therapists i think it said yes four unlicensed therapists uh and uh was putting it into the series making allusions to it rather in referencing her last name even her middle name before her rebirth which was tiara and also the talk of rebirth in general and the quitters room though i think he changes the way that rebirth is used in this series later down the line i think that's what i heard in doing my research on this but he said he regretted doing that making allusions to it because it is a very in poor things in poor taste thing to do um and i fully agree 100 percent that taking the tragedy of a young girl who was only 10 years old when she died and putting it into your horror series is in horrible taste 100 percent. that's just not not good not a good thing at all it's i remember when i heard about that and people were making the theories about it and positing it as this is a series about this. This is a series about Candace Newmaker and what she went through and like all the god awful things that happened to her in the process of this rebirth therapy. Um, 
and it was a lot there was a lot of strife just in general of people saying this is what it is and then a lot of people rejecting that because that was in poor taste and ultimately those people were correct to say that it was in poor poor taste 100 <sighs> percent but yeah i just needed to bring this up why was it put in i have no idea I have no idea why the creator wanted to put it in in the first place. I guess it was because he was talking about... I don't know. I guess he wanted to bring something in and just decided to that, that he settled upon Candace Newmaker's case and put it in from what he was planning to do with the series going forward. I, I That's my guess, but I, I genuinely don't know why he decided to do that. <laughs> it... It was the dumbest thing ever. It's so dumb. Little girl died and you decided to put it in your horror series or make allusions to it in your horror series and that made everybody... you know, it, Like, it was unnecessary is what I'm gonna say. It's unnecessary. Fully, wholeheartedly unnecessary and disrespectful to the memory of this young girl who died at such a young age. So, I, I just wanted to put that out there and acknowledge that and also state that the creator has since denounced the the that he put this in here and feels ashamed that he did it because it was wholly unnecessary to the plot as a whole so i i, I just wanted to make sure that that was acknowledged sorry it was just such a massive diversion from where we were before but um yeah so as for th so really quickly before we proceed i'm going to take a teensy little break and go get a cough drop because my throat is already starting to feel sore and i'm also going to go grab uh some aspirin because i'm getting a headache <laughs> um and i don't want to have a headache whilst we're going through this series so we're gonna take this moment to have a have a little break go get some water get a snack get a blanket Whilst I'm away, I'll be right back. Hang in there.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry it took me a second. I went and checked in on my dad because he's been having hip troubles lately. And also I went, got some, put on my medication because I have eczema flare-ups. Went to go put that on, but I'm back. I've heard of the case of Elisa Lam being referenced in Yik. What's, what's Yik? I don't know what that what that is. But how are we doing? How are you guys doing? How's it going, everybody? <laughs> how are we feeling? Uh, I just want to check in with everybody. How, blah, how you guys are all, how y'all are doing. It's like a check-in. I want to make sure you guys are doing okay. It's going to take a second to hear anything back, probably. But, uh. Yes, yick. I don't know what that is. <sighs> anyway, let me put it back on the screen here. I hope it's not too boring. Uh, as in, like, Petscop is not a pleasurable experience to watch. There's not too much action that happens in it, or it's not been too action-packed so far, so I hope... Uh, <laughs> it's not too boring for you guys, but we'll, we'll proceed. We'll talk along the way Because we have to keep proceeding Because otherwise we're gonna fall behind <laughs> we'll Look up yik at the same time we're watching this because I have no idea what that is Two hours and 39 minutes later good lord you sat that sat there for two hours. Or at his character. Sat there for two hours. Oh. Hold on, I'm getting something. As I search for Yik. Also, don't mind me crunching on my cough drop. Sorry. I know a lot of you guys don't like hearing chewing noises. A postmodern RPG. And Elisa Lamb was referenced in this? That's awful. What the fuck? Pro tip for any game developers that may be in my chat. Don't put real life cases of people dying in your video games. Just, you know, as, as a common courtesy to the victims and the victim's family. Because I don't think they would like that kind of exposure. Just, just saying. You know? Kind of gross. Kind of gross. It's very gross and very disrespectful. Very, very, very disrespectful. Especially if it is a case of someone getting murdered. Don't understand that sentiment in the slightest. Anyway, there was somebody over by the windmill. Whoa. Oh, and the windmill has changed directions. It was going clockwise before, now it's going counterclockwise. Oh. The figure approaches. Hello. He's just standing there. Menacingly! A little too close for comfort. Hey! Hey! Could you back up, please? Oh, oh my gosh. You ever hear a personal space? Oh, the, oh, we're going on a trip. There we go. We're, we, we... We're turning around. And we're no longer facing the windmill. Oh. Oh, okay. Where is my house? Why is the O so strange? It's the greenhouse from before. Some of the stuff I don't remember, so I'm reacting to it as if I'm seeing it for the first time. So it's a, so it's a house. It's a greenhouse. 
There's a rake and a shovel. There's a lamp. Suddenly it's mother one with a sentient lamp. Um, sorry, God. What was he spelling? I got distracted by the lamp and I had to, my brain went mother one because of ghost. Where is the school? Okay, that's Toneth. There was a gift box on a stilt, I think, a second ago. Oh no, the bird's getting covered, buried in bricks. No. Oh, is this the building? The multi level building with the three floors and the six rooms? Oh, I see. So that's a school. I will follow. I will follow. Follow what? <laughs> I'm assuming Paul. Also, why is Toneth there? It's like the bird. And the camera. We're going on a trip again. Whee! Back to the windmill. I'm still going counterclockwise. And then an hour and 24 minutes later. Any changes? No. Oh. Oh, the windmill. It's gone. Oh no. The windmill disappeared. That's kind of fun, actually. What? <laughs> Let, we're letting that happen? Through a four hour video. Four hour and video? That on one half of the video, the windmill is going in one direction, and on the other half, it's going in the other direction. Mm hmm. Pinpointing where the change occurred, and uh, the fuck is this? The <laughs> the fuck is this? Don't mind me checking the email just to make sure I didn't miss anything from my advisor. <laughs> That's neat. As if you can see me, I didn't even have to say that if I didn't want to. Oh, the camera is red now. Well, thanks for making the same observation as me, Paul. I mention this actually in another video. I've come up here before and seen it. I've seen the camera at this height before. Oh yeah, because it was taller, wasn't it? I don't know what causes it to happen, but sometimes I just come up here and it's at this height. It makes sense in this case, I think, because the character was like right up at the camera here. Mm. Uh, it hmm. seems to be like at this level. Um, right. I see. <laughs> oh. Tona. Well, uh, this is still here. Or Ronith. Which one? Uh, I'm already forgetting. <laughs> or no, it's Toneth, because Ronith's room is the one oh from before. Nothing else. There's a okay. tiny tone that played. I'm surprised Paul didn't hear it. Oh. Menu change, excuse me. Have you found anything weird lately? There is much to find in this place. Oh, it's Toneth. Okay, I was I was right. Enter a description here. Okay. A bird. I think I forgot what birds look like. Oh. Funny, stupid blob monster, says Mike. That's what it is. Okay, so... I'm going to assume that the creator of this game... His brother, or their brother, rather, is Mike. Or might just be someone... Might just be someone that's related. I don't know. Either way, they know Mike. That's an important note to make. Painter. Painting puzzle. Excuse me. Catch Randis first? Question mark? Has broken leg for no reason. Uh, for some reason, rather. I already hung him on a wall too late to take it back. It makes me think about the dog, actually, because up oh, there goes the text. Also, I'm just... Okay. I don't know why, but my brain thought that the stream cut out. <laughs> um, 
his broken leg for some reason. I already hung him on a wall too late to take it back. It makes me think about the dog, actually, because when the car hit him, I thought, at least it will be over soon. He survived it, and I was the only one who still wanted to put him down. A dog isn't innocent. I was the only one who still wanted to put him down. Oh, puppy. Mm. When that dog wags its tail and it appears happily, it's not real. Mm. Puppy. I know. I don't like hearing about animals in distress. I guess that's Toneth then. Toneth. And then it puts Toneth a bunch of times. The end. It's yucky outside. What have, what have I just walked into? <laughs> yeah, really. What have we just walked into, Paul? <laughs> I love that the cloud's name yeah, is okay. Wavy. Um, I... Oh. Okay, so I actually... This is, this is new to me. I haven't seen this. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I tried going down here before, but I think actually that was before I even put in the code. So I just discovered this, just now. Uh. Um, but you know what, I think actually this, I think I know what this is, this is our uh, ABNLM. Mm-hmm. Do you recognize yeah. the, the shape of this one? Yes, that's care in A, B, and... And LM, because I kind of put two and two together that that was Care. Yeah, so I didn't imagine you could catch this. I... So then this makes me ask, who is Care, and who is Michael, and who is Marvin? Because I think it didn't Tool mention Marvin. Who the f who the hell is Marvin? So many names, so little time. I walked into it. <laughs> Something happened. Okay, you really did walk into it, Paul. Who's the person that he's talking, uh, to? Oh, uh, I meant to... talk about this, because this doesn't do anything. Right? This uh, mini lobs, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing at some point you could name your pet. Mm. Right? Like you'd like suggestions or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, since, uh... Showing you that that, that doesn't do anything. All right. Anyway, we're resuming onward toward the windmill that no longer exists. Hmm. Right. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder why the windmill disappeared. Alright, Paul, what are you going to ask to this time? I'm intrigued. I just don't know how to articulate how I'm feeling in this current moment. Or what I'm thinking or my brain is thinking about. Where is my ho house? Hosu? A really good Japanese film? You'll never go home. Oh, that, if that, well, that, <laughs> if that's, that's not ominous whatsoever. That is, that's a horrifying phrase to have said to you. <laughs> Where is my house? Ah, you can never go home. <laughs> good God. Imagine getting told that. Randomly. When you ask where your house is. Where is the... Where is this... Oh, is he gonna ask where is the school? <laughs> where is the school? You can't go back in time. So he'll never go home, you'll never go back. You can't go back in time. What? What? Huh? 
That that has nothing to do with the question. At least the other one had something to do with the question he asked, but that one just did not. Or I assume. It's very hard to make it seem like. Um, I'm deeply confused. Like there's an entity in it. Like, there's an uh, entity. Like, like an entity. Like oh. AI is trying to communicate with me. Uh huh. It's interesting. But, you know, the way you know, like, there's a ghost in the game trying to communicate with you, and if it comes out, it stops being distant, and it comes out, and you can have, like, a, a real-time back and forth with it. And it stops being so one way. Like, I... Sorry, I zoned out. <laughs> I, was, I was putting something... So the, he's mentioning that this game is trying so hard to make it seem like a ghost or something is trying to communicate with him. That there's something in the game that's trying to get to get a hold of him. But you know, the way you know, like there's a ghost in the game trying to communicate with you is if it comes out, it stops being distant, and it comes out and you can have a, you know, a real time back and forth with it. Mm hmm. Um, Turn this up for you guys a little bit. And it stops being so one way. Like I, I leave my PlayStation and it comes, comes out and uh, does this whole pre-recorded thing. Uh, hmm. And well, the closest thing that's happened to that is last video. You know, it actually answers my questions, but right, yeah. it, it only responded to two of my questions, and the first one. The first question I asked, I didn't even answer that question. So, uh, no obvious interactivity happening. Mm-hmm. You know, it answered the second question, but that could have been a coincidence. Um, yeah. So, uh, not entirely convincing yet. So. But, you know, looking forward to what I might. Sorry, Paul, don't mean to cut you off, but. It's so he, I think what he's saying is this. I think he's debunking that there might be a ghost in the machine here. <laughs> so the, 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 there's no ghost that's trying to, like, communicate with him, and that this is just purely... There's something in here, but it's not a, a ghost that's trying to communicate with him. Is But he he's intrigued to see what happens next. I feel bad because there's not much I can commentate on because unlike Needle Mouse, uh, where I could I was narrating a good chunk of the time, reading the text as it was going, and and theorizing as was happening. This one I have to take it so much slower because I'm still trying to piece together what is going on. <laughs> My brain is spinning. I literally, for the life of me, cannot formulate what is happening. The two and two cannot be put together at this time, because <laughs> all I get is a number other than four. So, we're, we're just going to have to see where this goes. It's very interesting, this Nothing game. Because uh, you can walk around and something will just happen. Also, Paul is commentating so much as I would do when presented with something. Uh, so he's he's kind of explaining things for me in a way. Yeah, because I created a new file, and uh, I tried to be scientific about it. I went, I went uh, and did all the same things that I did this time, and uh, the same things did not happen. Oh really? Uh, none of the things happened. None of the oddities occurred. So he did it again up here. Is it different? Example. And when he made um, a new file? Hmm. So there's a bit of randomness in it, and it's interesting how it doesn't seem to really care if you see everything, I guess. Mm. Oh, I see what he's saying. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Is that it? There's just a, a bit of nothing at the end there. <laughs> okay. So we're on to number seven. Out of 24, we are moving at a snail's pace. <laughs> oh, I hope it's intriguing so far. 
like I said in the beginning, this series definitely drags a lot sometimes because there is information, but you really have to cherry pick what the information is that you're trying to find throughout this. Um, through a lot of just gameplay and commentary from Paul, so you really have to pay attention to everything, which is not good for me, particularly as someone who has a tendency to zone out sometimes, but I guarantee you the intrigue is still there for me anyway. Hopefully we'll be able to at least get halfway with this. I want to at least get to 14. At least. And then I might consider, you know, splitting this up. Because I don't want to be here for another... Uh, <laughs> what are you... He's turning pages in a... What is he reading? I remember if I got this far. My memory is starting to get a little shaky <laughs> with these entries as we're going along. I remember the first three... Or the first five, rather. Why do the characters look like that? I have no idea. What? Was he reading, like, a pamphlet or something? Why is there just a melody playing? Paul, don't leave the room. Like, just stay there. Yeah, and the character's not coming back. But yeah, I don't know why the characters look like that. I like this little guy though. I like Paul's character. He's a he's a little scrunkly. It's a little scrungle. A little little scruple. Yeah, but what is this time? I'm trying to see. There's. I don't recognize that. <laughs> I don't. Oh. Oh hi there. It's back. So, I think I need to, like, the quitter's room, I think, is, as I said before, um, a reference to the, the Candace Newmaker case. So, I, I know I said it before, but just need to say it again, that is a reference to Candace Newmaker. Which, don't factor her in, she's not a part of this whatsoever. But I just need to say that, that be, this yeah. is an allusion to her. My dog is digging outside of my door. Hold on, I got a ding dong ditcher. Let me get him real quick. I don't know why he does this. My dog just digs outside of my door for no reason. <laughs> And he will not stop until I open the door. Or until somebody yells at him. Uh, Come uh, here. Okay. So it's in pink. The same pink that Tool had, I think. Hmm. Oh, my head. Owie. Owie. What does that say? I love you, Newmaker. Please show Marvin where his house is. Huh? I love you, Newmaker. Please show Marvin where his house is. Huh? So we might know who Marvin is now. Do, do we? Oh, I need to be quick about this, actually. Because it could turn yeah. red. Again. Um, who is Marvin? So I'm gonna ask, who are you? No, don't ask who Which, are you. Ask who is Marvin. I feel like we know at this point. Bro, but just to Paul. Confirm. The first question you're asking Tool is like, who are you, dude? You should ask who Marvin is when you get the the chance, because we still don't know who he is. And the other time, I wouldn't answer you. Go there, and he'll follow you. His daughter is there. 
Marvin's daughter? Talking about the house again. I don't think this is going to answer your question. It's interesting, it but it is not an answer to my question. It, not at all. Uh, uh, nope. So, um, what do you think that means? Go there and he'll should... follow you. His daughter is there. So, yeah, so Who's now I'm going to ask the question, uh, the, do you remember being born? Oh, yeah, it's just, uh, Paul. Remember being born. You have a moment to ask. Not fit. Paul, you have a moment to ask who who Marvin is, and yet you're asking all these other questions. God damn it, Paul. Come on. Also wants 1,000 pieces for Machine Beyond School Basement Stairway. A thousand pieces? Machine Beyond School Basement Stairway. What? Huh? What? Uh, I can't decipher any of this. Not, my brain. Also not an answer to my question. Who is Marvin? You should uh, have asked who Marvin was, because yeah, now you're not going to get your Paul. stupid answer. You're not going to get your answer, Paul, damn it. Oh my gosh. You're not going to get your stupid answer. That's not the right thing to say. It's just you're not going to get the... I need that answer. <laughs> Take them home. Well, there you go. Child library accepts people. Library accepts people. Okay, so this... When I looked up Good Grief and Alas, I got something for the child library. So this... This place here that we were at before where you could put the faces in is, is the child library. Excuse me. Okay. Well, I guess I'm kind of an idiot. No, you're not an idiot, Paul. I tried that. Instructions are unclear. These, these are people, right? Yeah, I mean, work. care is a person. <laughs> I would assume. Yeah. So if I walk over here. What what, yeah, what do you mean what happened? Oh. Ken is an aspiring mathematician. So that's all I got. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pause to look. Okay, so that's another thing. Okay, we're back at the faces. <laughs> He's inputting a face without any eyebrows. Oh, is he putting in which face? What face is this? I thought I had it for a second, then I was like, wait, which face is this? Whose face? I don't know whose face this is. I'm deeply confused. Anything out of the ordinary here? No, it's a car in a Rubik's Cube. It's on the floor. Nothing, it's just Looks like carpet. a gift box, and stars, and something else. Oh, the else. carpet. Uh-huh. And anything down here? It's an abyss. As usual, no. Mm-hmm. Um, so this, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, this is Mike's face, but without the eyebrows. Oh. Uh, and why am I doing that? Well, because eyebrows seem to be important. Oh, yeah, 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 because of the no the note. What, that was in Care's room, I think it was? Mike's, Mike's room had the tweezers. But then Care's room, there was a note talking about how the person in the note, uh, the you in the note, was excited that Care wasn't growing eyebrows for some reason. Which I still find really peculiar. <laughs> like, why would you... Why are you excited that some kid doesn't have eyebrows? Please, I'm begging. That's really it, uh, but uh, nothing seems to have actually. It seems like it's just re one, just regular room, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I guess that's it. All right, I have one more thing to try though. 
Oh, okay. We have another face that I don't know. <laughs> Whose face this is. This one is care with eyebrows. Oh, okay. What? Wait, what is it? What? Huh? What? Hmm? What? What is there? A sensor bar. <laughs> There's some, there's some blocks, but there's just a thing that's a, a, a sensor bar. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can, there's, I can't. So this is care with eyebrows. He seems distressed. I put Mike's eyebrows on her. Oh. Um. Yeah. I could have put other eyebrows on her, but I didn't. I uh, put Mike's on her. Um, yeah, he seems uncomfortable with whatever it is that he saw on the desk. Like, he seems so, like, uncomfortable now. You kind of, like, the way he was talking before. Hmm. I have one more thing to try, though. Like, that's how he, he was before, and then, like... This one is care with eyebrows. And then, like, you get here, and he stares at this for a really long time, and then... So this is care with eyebrows. He sounds so much more distressed, so that makes me ask, what is under the sensor bar that's made him so distressed? Because clearly this is an effect of what happened when he looked at the thing on the table. So, like, what is it that's made him so distressed suddenly? And also, like, he seems... It's interesting, too, because he put says... Mike's eyebrows on her. That he put Mike's eyebrows on on care. Of all the the eyebrows he could have put on her, he put Mike's eyebrows. So like, what's the significance of putting Mike's eyebrows on care? Hmm. I could have put other eyebrows on her, but I didn't. I put Mike's on her. Hmm. Um, I don't know if this. I I can't tell. I can't tell if it recognized it or not. Hmm. Because everything looks like any other room. Yeah, except there's something on the table we can't see. It, it put this. <laughs> this poor guy's. <laughs> What is making him so distressed about know, this maybe thing that's on the just table? Something that it puts in any room. Yeah, but why? Why are you censoring it? If you if it puts it in any room, then you shouldn't have to worry about censoring it. But yet you're. It, mm, hmm. Intriguing. Oh, we've had to cover something with a black box. Right now, we can't say why. Other things we are expecting the sensor in the future. A big present with a sticker on it. Something on a wall in a black house. Written on chalk. Or on chalkboard, rather. Hmm. We've had to cover something? Right now we can't say what... Where's this? Whoa, 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 where's the we? Who's we? Isn't Paul the woman that's running the channel? Who's we? Is someone else hearkening control of the channel suddenly? What's going on? I'm confused. There's so much happening. So now we're at entry 8. We're almost to entry 10. I call them entries as though I'm watching Marble Hornets. I'm sorry, it's like the... The Marble Hornets fan in me is calling these entries. So... <sighs> Excuse me. So with what the... With the information we have so far, we can... I have to cover my eyes as I talk because my headache is bothering me. It's just on my left side. I'm worried it's going to be a migraine. Anyway, but... So... Paul is playing a game called Petscop. He ends up putting in this cheat code that takes him to this different part of the game. This whole, this in, 
this underground section of the game that is not visible to the regular player unless they input this code. And so far, there seems to be information about a girl, a person, I should say, named Care, and a boy who died at seven years old, and his name is Mike, who seems to be tied to the creator of this game in some way if the creator is mentioning him by name in the pets section. And then there's this person named Marvin, and then there's this, this creature that was like where is my house and where is the school and then there's this thing asking that you can ask questions to named tool and also there's this kid named tiara who is apparently the pets cop kid and is very smart <laughs> there's so much information here and i don't know how to put any of it together i don't know how to put any of it together also a windmill disappeared there's a note talking about Care's eyebrows not growing in, and also the person, the you in the note, being, being excited about it, and it's, there's just, it's just a jumble of information. I don't know. I'm not frustrated. <laughs> I sound like I'm frustrated. I promise I'm not. I'm just having a hard time piecing together what is going on. Because it's so abstract. And I think that's the thing that I've always struggled with when it comes to Petscop. Is that it's so abstract. And there's hardly any information in the beginning to tie it together. I assume it, as we go through it, there's more information that we can use to tie it together. Because it's a completed series now. <laughs> but I just... I can't wrap my little brain around it. I'm so confused. <laughs> Who's the person that he's talking to? That Paul is talking to? With these videos. I... <laughs> uh, uh, so many questions. So little time. I'm curious. I said it earlier. Excuse me. I'm curious. I said it earlier, like... I asked earlier if any of you guys have any theories so far, or if you guys are just as in the dark as I am. I'm curious to see if you guys have any running theories currently. Feel free to let me know in the chat. <laughs> so far, I've got nothing. Also, what is the significance of these cars here? And why are they not hitting Paul's character? Why is it every time he stops in the middle of the road, the cars? What? What? Oh, it's uh, the dude. What? It's the, it's the thing from the, the windmill disappearing. He looks like an oni, like a green oni. I think that's the school. Oh, okay. Suddenly going in a circle. Oh. Oh. And that's the, that's the house. He mentioned the house. Where is the house? Where's Marvin, my house? Right? Oh. Oh, this guy's Marvin? Oh. He's Marvin. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, wait, that makes sense. I yeah, because confused Marvin. Yeah, I think, cause Tool said at one point like, "I love you, new maker. Please show Marvin to his house," or something along those lines. So this is Marvin. My I, yeah, I don't remember getting up to this part, so I think this stuff is new for me. Also, why is he? He tried to run into a wall. Now he's running in circles. Know you I think you get what you're, uh, what you're doing. I don't think he does know where he's going. Wait, he looks like what? an oni. Like a green oni. A little bit. Excuse me? He zoomed. He zipped right out of there. I didn't know there was a sprint option in this game suddenly. He went up. He zoomed. He, he went pew. Why find him if I go up? Maybe. It's as good as Gus any. Just 
see if you can find him either that or you just snapped out of existence for a bit. <sighs> Excuse me, holy cow. I haven't even taken my melatonin, I'm already so tired. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, this series is a... I think a lot of people haven't... One thing I will say also is this series... There's a lot of dead air throughout, so it's hard to keep people's attention with this series. Maybe that's why I dipped out a couple of times while trying to watch this. I've never been able to finish it because I think I had a hard time focusing because there was so much dead air. Because... My brain needs constant stimuli to, like, function. And if there's dead air, my brain tends to wander. So, I just... I understand why a lot of people probably tapped out of watching this series after a certain point. Including myself. <laughs> but I'm determined to finish this because I love Petscop. I've always loved how unique this series was because it's not based on any pre-existing property. This was built from the ground up, so like, I'm just, in, I just want to know, but, oh man, Paul isn't much of a chatter, so my brain's like, oh, it's so quiet, <laughs> I don't want to think of other things, but no, I want to focus the perks of having I don't know. autism brain. Sometimes you focus in real hard on something, and then sometimes you don't. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's not here now. What? There's not even a passageway or anything. Was there a passageway before? Can you remember when you saw this? What? Who's he talking to? Wait. Hold on a second. Can you remember when you saw this? Is he? I wait. I faintly. I think he's talking to somebody on the phone. I faintly hear someone on that isn't Paul talking. Hold on. I'm gonna turn the volume up really quickly so I can hear. I think he's talking to somebody on the phone. Can you remember when you saw this? Yeah. Yeah, he's talking to somebody on the phone. He's talking to somebody on the phone. Asking about this one part of the game. Huh. Interesting. Who is he? Is he calling the person that he was originally making these YouTube videos for, I wonder? Or is he calling somebody else? But he's definitely talking to somebody on the phone. Well, it could have changed between then and 2004. What? After 2004, my mom had it reportedly. Oh. Well, okay. Thanks. Yeah, he was talking to somebody on the phone. Definitely talking to, to somebody on the phone. Hmm. What's this? That feeling when you go downstairs, but you turn to the right and become a shadow monster. <laughs> okay, so we're on to pet scop number nine. We're almost in the double digits, guys. How are we doing? How are we, how are we doing, everybody? You hanging in there? Just feel, let's have a stretch break for a second. Everyone, stretch. Stretch out a little bit. If we've been We've been sitting for a little bit now. Stretch. I need to remember to do that. I forget to stretch sometimes. So, like, just stretch a little bit whilst you're sitting. And then twist your back a little bit. Stretch out your neck and your arms and stuff. Ah. So. We met Marvin when the windmill disappeared. So that was Marvin in the last one. And he just disappeared. And at the end, Paul's talking to someone on the phone. Who he was talking to on the phone, I'm not sure. 
So now we're on to Pet Scar number nine, and this one's 15 minutes. We can manage that. We've, we've sat here for longer. I mean, what, we're two hours, almost three hours into this. We're making significant progress as compared to when we were going through Needle Mouse. I miss Needle Mouse. I think it's because I miss Sarah. Sarah Henderson, the beloved. Okay, so, um, anyway, we're, we're watching a demo. Uh, so, someone's demoing the game. Okay. Six, five, four, three... Just sat there on three for a little while. Okay. A person demoing. You're kind of stuck on the three. <laughs> Holy cow. Hmm. Oh, two, one, zero. Oh, the demo crashed. I don't know what's going on for a while, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. I'm trying really hard to piece together what's happening, but I, I legitimately cannot. Because everything is disjointed. Which could be a detriment, or it could be a benefit, but I, for the life of me, <laughs> can't piece together what's going on. I feel stupid, but I know it's... No, I'm not stupid, it's just so needlessly convoluted. The way, the, the presentation of this, um, of this series, and how information is given to us. Oh, is Paul trying to do the, the shadow man thing in the stairway? Oh. Uh. <laughs> He's a shadow now. Oh, and it disappears when he goes back. Interesting. Hmm. Why is this happening, though? See, this is what I mean. Yeah, this is a callback to the note that Paul got. Like, I went down the stairway, and I turned right, and I became a shadow man. What is the significance of this? What is the purpose? Why? Sometimes I don't... Is uh, This is the thing I need to ask with Petscop. Is every single thing that happens significant? Or are there some parts of it that don't matter? And if so, why am I seeing these things if they don't matter? <laughs> I just want all the important information. Because I cannot... I can't piece together what's, <laughs> what's happening. Like I said, it makes me feel like I'm dumb and I'm not. I know I'm not Only dumb. When I go... I'm just so this confused way. because everything is disjointed and confusing, even though it's linear and we're going forward in time, but it, I, there's just information I don't understand what the use is for it. Like, what is this? What is going on right now? Why it is? Why is this happening? Uh. Paul, where's the character? There's the scrunkly. I was like, where's the scrunkly? Oh, was oh he was doing the trick again with the, with the thing. <gasps> the windmill. Oh my god, you can approach the windmill. What what did his intuition say? Like, uh, was that his intuition telling him to go back to the windmill? Or... Cause what? How did he? What? How did he figure out how to do that? Also, what is this? The what? What? 
What? Huh? Are we just gonna... What the fuck? The... What? Huh? What? What just happened? Did some kid just die and he got a bunch of little things for it? What the... Cause there was a- there was a- hold on. There's a- there's a kid here. There's a kid sat here on the cogs of the windmill as it's turning and then he interacts with the tool here and the tool rises up and presumably stabs the kid to death and then it gets like a 40 something bits. Or 30 something, I don't know, I can't do math, my brain's exhausted. What on earth is going on here? Was the windmill going counterclock? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm deeply confused. And so it's a platform if he's not a shadow. It's empty. What does this mean? I don't know what this means. But I assume he's gonna put the face in that he saw in the windmill because... There was a face in the windmill. Also, I am freezing cold. I am very cold. You found her. I'm trying to stay warm while I'm watching this, but it's very hard. You may visit her room. Who is her? Huh? What? We found- Okay, we found a girl. I'm so confused. Huh? Oh, is- Is Paul gonna- what the- Why is there- Okay, so there's a little windmill and a tool on there, so that's one of the three kids that also had the tool on there, which was Care and Michael, so... It's a triplet now, what? You must have guessed, but I was looking through your things. Okay. I found that picture of you from 1977 standing in front of an old windmill with your friend. Okay. Who is this note addressed to? You went there and it was a bad idea. Your friend and the windmill both disappeared into thin- Huh? Is this so? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm sensing something sci-fi with this sentence. Your friend and the windmill both disappeared into thin air. Huh? 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 Because how else would a windmill and a person disappear into thin- That also parallels the windmill disappearing, um, from earlier on. But uh, what is going on? Huh? Her sister was holding the camera. She took another picture minutes later, just you, no windmill, and no friend. Okay, so that was the person that the note is being addressed to, his friend, who then disappeared, and then the friend's sister who was taking the picture of the per the note, the person that the note is being addressed to, and the friend. It's okay. You married her sister, and years later, your friend was reborn as your daughter. Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Reincarnation? Your wife won't admit it. this is true, but I know it because I found the evidence. Oh. oh. Your friend never returned with you, and the windmill was gone. I went to see it myself. Where is it? What did you do? Did the person this note is addressed to somehow make the windmill disappear? Is that what the person writing the note is implying? God help me, what is going on? Does anyone know what's going on? 
Rainer Newmaker. Okay, so the person writing the notes name is Rainer. Um. Or Rainier. Like the mountain. I'm gonna say Rainier because that's how I know how to say the name. Uh, but, um. The, could anyone make higher tale of what that note is talking about? Um. Because uh, my brain is the AOL startup noise. 100% I don't understand what happened. Oh, it's one of those little bit thingies. That's the loading screen now. Pieces, I think they're called. Oh, oh, oh. I think Paul also followed the same path as the other other player model oh what is it? oh 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 there's a present oh, and there's a cake and a, a little um a little pinwheel i almost called it a windmill and i was like wait those are called pinwheels there's a slice of cake there's another present there's a pea on the cake i assume this is for paul okay and what is in here? A key! What is the key for? It's green. Is that for the house? Because it's also green? Maybe? Mm hmm. There's a, there's a note on that gift. What's in it? Huh? What the fuck? Oh. What a... Some asshole is revving their engine. As they drive past, but what the hell was I think? Oh, right, they said earlier that there was a thing they had to censor, and one of them was a gift in a gift box, I think, as well as the thing on the table, and then something on a chalkboard. Okay, so what the hell was this? The camera here. I. Mm hmm. We're just gonna brush over that, I guess. <laughs> Paul going, what the fuck, and then promptly not addressing it. Seems to be a trend because he didn't really, he partially tried to address what was on the table that was censored, but he brushed it off as like, oh, that could be in any of the rooms. And then this got a, such a visceral reaction out of him. The most visceral reaction that we've gotten so far, and now, and then he just immediately moves on. So that, like, what is it that gave him, <sighs> gives me such an intense response. And why did it have to be censored? Also, what is happening? How did he get over there? There's so much. I just, I keep saying it, but I just have no idea what's going on and my head is starting to hurt a bit more. I'm terrified I may get a migraine and I'd have to pull out the sunglasses to to watch this. And I don't want to do that because the last time I did it, it was so obnoxious. <laughs> and plus my screen brightness isn't as bright as it was back then, but still I'm scared. And he's, oh, he's found a hidden gift and what the fuck is happening? We're going into the present. We get sucked into a present. I feel like I'm high, but I have not taken any drugs. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, for some reason, I can't explain it. I just feel so, like, <laughs> deeply and utterly confused. <gasps> oh, what is this? It's a little symbol. Oh, yeah. Huh? Is he going back to the main area? What? Do 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 do. What is going on? This picture of two friends trying to run it. They're cute. Why not give them a chance? Oh no, it's. Damn. Losing right away. 
just don't be discouraged. They really do want to home. They're afraid. They say the same things. This is just like how we left it. Huh? Trophy ordered Amber. She hasn't left her cage once. That's interesting. And look back around, and now he's back at the main area where he started, and everything is just as he left it. But now there's more bits that he can collect, or the bits respawned rather. Hmm. I'm genuinely asking again. Anyone in the chat? Got any ideas what's going on? Anyone got any running theories? Also the thing, the... The... Yeah, the thing's back, it was at zero. Where it was left. Negative one? Oh, I didn't even know that was an option. Who would have thought that running on a treadmill would get you the negative one? Oh. It crashed the game. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Paul, I think you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, he crashed the game. Alright. Oh no. Oh no, Paul. Oh, he's, he's back. Okay, and he didn't lose the key. That's good. Oh. She's not on fire. Yet. What? 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 I'm too tired for this. You're in the other place, too. I figured. Oh, Kara and LM. I was right. It's Kara. Kara and LM escaped from the school's basement and wandered the new maker plane for days. Oh, she was... What? To catch her, you had to lie, but it may not be a lie forever. Hmm. I see. You are the new maker. You can turn Kara and LM into Care A and close the loop. You can turn... Close the loop? <laughs> Are we in a time loop that consistently ends with Kara and LM turning, or Kara rather turning into Kara and LM and then getting stuck there and something happens? Something's happening. Something. I can, I can, I can sense there's something going on, but the, 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 the cogs aren't turning yet. The pets really seem to like you. Thank you for playing pets go up. I'm also just trying to notice any little details. What is- What? You've decided to leave Kara and LM. Wait, no, Paul. No, no. If you change your mind within six months, you can take Kara and LM back. If you, within six months? Paul! What month is it, anyway? What year is it? Well, it's January 28th of 2023. So. I know at the time the series was taking place, it was 2017. Oh no, care! Fuck! Can we have her back? Oh, Why'd you do that? Paul? Why'd you do that for? You got rid of her. God damn it, Paul. God damn it. <laughs> if you love something, let it go, they say, but uh, at the same time, bring her back. Get her back. Get her back. She's just crying in her room. Yeah, there you go, and then we got her back. I feel like I'm mumbling. I hope I'm not mumbling. I'm... Oh, we're on pet scop 10. We're on a double digits, guys. Whoop, whoop. And then we got nothing in the description. So we're finally in the double digits. So if we get to about... If we have... If we watch four more entries, we'll hit the halfway point. With... Uh, both Petscop 11 and Petscop 14 being the t two longest uh, in the playlist thus far. So we're going to hit 14 and then we're going to pause and then we're going to come back to Petscop 
next stream and finish it because I think I was too ambitious when I said we should finish this all in one stream. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to hit the midway point and then we can finish the f rest of the series, the 10 other videos, uh, next stream. Because I do not have it in me to sit until like five in the morning watching all of these videos and plus i'm getting sleepy and i don't want to make my headache worse so here in pet Scuff 10 we're back in the original game with it's not a demo so paul's just here back again he must have found the way back I don't know what the significance of that was. Oh, is he opening and closing the cages? Okay. He must have something in mind he wants to do. At this point, I'm letting Paul take the wheel. Oh, the door closed. At this point, I'm, I'm letting Paul take the wheel. <laughs> oh. The game crashed again. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Pa panics. Panic SV. Possible corruption. Panic SV. Possible corruption. So there's two files that are corrupted and then the one in the middle of the test is not corrupted so hmm it's interesting that both the backup and the main file both have the same amount of bits wonder where it will take him when he continues the game Back at the present. We're getting sucked back in. Woo! I don't know what he's trying to achieve with this because... Oh, at least it saves progress with the gate because that was previously closed when he came here last from his prior run. So... I guess it saves his progress. Here we go. What? The hallway? What is that? Oh! <gasps> He's on the other side of Quitter's room! <gasps> and then the little person on the other side is, is on the other side. No. He's on the other side of Quitter's room! They're at the side with the front facing text. Do you remember being born? Holy cow, he did it. He's, he found a way over. Let's go home. That's the most significant development. To... <laughs> yeah. That's the most significant development we've had all night. Let's go. <laughs> okay, he's back at Tool now. Alright, what, what are you gonna ask, Paul? What's the question of the evening? I keep looking at the thumbnail I made for this stream. I had a fun time drawing it. I liked drawing the little dude. Very fun thumbnail. One of my best, I think, other than the We Saw the Devil one. Anyway, sorry, I got a distracted. What month is it? Oh, Tool's checking the calendar. <laughs> 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 Does it really take that long to figure out what month it is? Wait, no, let Tool finish. Wait, no, let Tool finish looking at the calendar. Also, it would be May when this is uploaded. I don't know if he did this same day or not. What year is it? Tool is still checking the calendar, you impatient asshole. Wait a minute. Let Tool finish checking the calendar. <laughs> 
Okay, I guess you didn't get an answer. But still, you should have waited instead of being impatient and trying to ask immediately while he they were still checking the damn calendar. I hate being rushed when I'm checking something, so... Where was the... What... Uh... In... D... Oh, he's asking where was the windmill. Can you put two... Oh, wow, that's surprising that he put all that in... Ah, censored. Damn. The signs along the way. Oh, oh, we're immediately on the... Oh! Oh, we got something in the description. You know what's creepy about these videos? Having someone else with you through this experience is comforting, like playing a horror game with a friend, so every time Paul stops talking, it's extremely unsettling. I wouldn't necessarily say it's unsettling, because I've fallen into lulls where I play games and don't say anything. I usually talk as a means to comfort myself, so I often, like, talk to myself a lot, which I guess is fitting at a first stream, um, because I'm so used to talking to myself, but, um, but there are times where I just fall into a lull of not talking, probably because, like, I get, so I get... <laughs> I have moments where I'm non-verbal, um, and I just cannot talk, no matter how hard I try, and there's just points where I just don't want to talk, either, so, yeah, it may be unsettling for some people that Paul just, just stops talking for periods of time, but at the same time, it... When it comes to this series, for me anyway, I find it, it's just familiarity because he, Paul's not a big chatter in the first place. He doesn't talk too much throughout the series, I've noticed. So, it's just kind of familiar territory, familiar ground to tread on when it comes to that. But I completely understand, uh, you know, where there's situations where someone is normally super chatty and then don't talk for a while and it's kind of you know unsettling but anyway so there's something in the description uh along with the video which we'll get into in a second here but let's read what we got in the script the, the, the <laughs> wow one time i wish i didn't stutter the description everything we wish to say is below once again with we, oh, this got like a million videos, a million views, jeez. Uh, the purpose of this YouTube channel is to preserve and display the recordings within the game, uh, Petsco, the video game Petsco, while keeping some of the content private. They were first given to us as a Christmas gift many years ago. The game had an interesting journey before and after that day. Paul created some additional recordings in 2017 as a way to show Petsco gameplay to his friend. Which we already figured. He created this account in order to upload those additional video, uh, additional recordings in video format. He later passed ownership of the channel to us, who had continued recording himself at our strong suggestion. Uh, though he had issues with the arrangement, the these have finally been settled. Please enjoy the recordings in Petscop. We do. So, from judging from this recording or recording this this um description we have here paul passed ownership as they stated to somebody else a group of people he passed the ownership to a group of people and was hesitant about the arrangement initially because it seemed like he wanted to stop but that the uh behest behest is that the right one? Hold on. Was that the right word? Yes. At the behest of this group uh, that he passed the ownership to, 
uh, he started recording videos again of the game. So, while well, keeping some of their content private, they were given. I'm assuming the they in this, meaning the recordings. The game had an interesting journey before and after. This wording is. Mm, can't put it. Can't put my finger on it. What? Also, this was on Christmas. Christmas of 2017. Um, but so. Hmm. So this is the first video in a of the channel having been passed to a different group of people. Signs along the way. And also um, he seems to be in mid conversation with someone on the phone, presumably it, the person he was making been the a videos for. Ridiculous idea to me. Um, Plus he's just talking to himself. But when I found my room, it made uh, well I, I was shocked at first, but it made sense. Especially found considering where I found the game in the first place. Wait, he found- um, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 what is- he been, What? But when I found my room- He f He found his own room in the game? That's what I'm assuming that he's implying here, because I would assume he's playing the game in his room, so that's not what he's talking about, so... He found his room in the game. Hmm. It made... Uh, well, I, I was shocked at first, but it made sense. Especially considering where I found the game in the first place. Um, that would be tied in some way to me through you. Um... Hmm. And I'm trying to think. When was the last time I saw any of you at all? Any of you at all? I can't tell if he's I'm on a. If he's think. having when a conversation was the last on the time phone. I saw any of you at all? I mean. It had to have been like 1999. I was a kid. I was a small kid. I don't I don't think he's he's talking to someone on the phone. I was trying to see if I could hear uh like last time. But so he's talking about somebody. Family maybe? Cuz he's saying the when was the last time I saw any of you? It had to have been in like 1999. I was a kid. I was a small kid. Is it Who's he talking about? Nine. I was a kid. I was a small kid. Tiny kid. Um, and after that, just, you know, it would make sense in the timeline. Timeline? Hmm? I am far too tired it's for this. It's hard to do this while I'm talking, that's why I'm so quiet right now. Um, what are you doing? So, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, um, I have a drawing oh. that I could scan and send to you. I just came home and drew this big drawing. Um, and it's still, you, you still need an explanation on, because the, the, the drawing is not very clear, about scribbles really, but, um, but you need the visual to understand the explanation, right? So you need both. I still don't know if he's on the phone or not, or if he's um. I'm about ninety percent sure that this is gonna work. And ten percent not so sure. Uh, but mostly sure. What is he talking about? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, wait, wait. I think I did that wrong. Sorry, is yeah, he trying to? Right? He's, he's doing a sequence. He's doing something. He's. Oh, is he trying to mimic Marvin's movements from the first? Is he trying to repeat what Marvin was? What the Holy fuck? Holy shit. Huh? Holy shit. Wait, Holy wait, wait. See. Holy shit. Is it he works. on the phone? 
I mean, I was 90% sure, but <laughs> still he's a little on... shocking that it actually worked. I'm deeply confused if he's on the phone or not. That's very neat. Um, Alright, so the way this works, I'm supposed to pass on this one. So I assume he got this... Uh -huh. I assume he got this information from the person that he's recording these videos for. Because um, he was talking with them, presumably, on the phone. So he must have gotten that from them. Who That means that they've played this game before. And they he did mention, like, you know, there's a different, significant time skip between now and 2004, which would imply that the person is, played the game in 2004? I don't know, I'm trying to throw shit and make it there stick. It is. Look, it's a tire. Okay. Jesus Christ, I'm cold. <laughs> it's so cold in this room. <laughs> I don't have a blanket I can curl up in. What is- I, he's just- uh, Okay. Okay. So, so he this passed. One we wanna... This one, he's asking a question. Uh, what do we wanna? We wanna ask about the house. We wanna ask where. Ask where is house? Everything is in lowercase. As compared to Paul typically capitalizing his sentences. I don't know if that's significant or not, but I'm making a small note in my head. Okay. Huh? Okay. The wheel is turning... Okay. Um... What does that mean? So, I don't- I don't know... I- th I mean, it's probably asking me to go this way, right? Probably, Yeah, maybe. I think that's what's happening. Maybe, I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm gonna be entirely honest with you guys. I don't know what's going on anymore. That's not what I was expecting, actually. Oh, it's a road. Uh, I guess cool. a, a road makes sense. Um, but it's not visually the same thing that I was expecting to see. How are we hanging in there, chat? How are, we, how are you guys doing? You guys doing alright over there? I'm just I'm checking in. It's been a little bit. We're like three hours in the stream. How are you guys doing? How how are things? I won't get an answer right away, but I hope you guys are doing all right. Just checking in really quickly. See what the camera just did there. Fix the camera. Like this. this is a frozen house captured three times exactly as it was. Frozen house. I think we found the house. Oh, did we know? I don't know what it means that the house got captured three times as it was. We just found the fucking house. Oh shit, we found the house. Let's go. <laughs> we just found the fucking house. <laughs> found the house. The key still works. Uh, huh? Found the house. Oh, the key. The key still, the key still works. Still it still works. Sure. Though you've unlocked the door, you can't open it. What? Why what? not? Uh, what? Why not? Why can't we open the door? No. Let me in the house. Can't open it. Another joke about how I can't open doors. Hmm? Huh. <laughs> Clockwise, the top is going to the right, and then, you know, the... It's so interesting that we're interjecting now in the midst of him having a conversation with himself when typically it would be a cut and then he would start a sentence, but now we're getting a cut as he's midway through a sentence. So this is interesting. wonder what's so... St I wonder why Bottom he's getting cut off like this. Right, Excuse so me. Would say, uh, um, righty tidy lefty loosey, or, you know, you turn this... Turn this thing to the to the right, um, and I mean okay. I still get confused about that. But Ready, tidy, I, I know it's always the top, but um, I still have to think. 
I <sighs> think. Excuse me. Um, well, we have... Oh, the door's open. The door open now, so... Yeah. I mean, well, would you look at that? <laughs> oh, well, would you look okay. at that? <laughs> what is that loading screen? Oh. All right. Person. Oh. Okay. Oh. It's interesting. Uh, that people. Yeah, there's like a appearing. family or something in there. Oh, I don't like that. The mumbled talking. I don't know what it is in like, in like shows or movies, like anything, I guess, horror related. I don't like hearing mumbled speech because it freaks me out for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but like if a conversation is muffled and I can't make out what they're saying, I freak out. Or if someone speaks really fast to the point where I can't understand what they're saying, I, I freak out as well. I think that's also my issue. Like Animal Crossing, for example. The characters, you know, the... You know, like the, the that. That freaks me out. And I... Um, to counter it, I used to speed through the dialogue so I didn't have to hear it so much. But, like, over time, I felt bad that I was skipping through their dialogue. So now I just, like, don't. <laughs> I don't skip through the dialogue. Because, I don't know, my brain is so strange. I do not like it when I can't discern what someone is saying. So, like, hearing just indiscernible conversation freaks me out a little bit and unnerves me. So, like, hearing that freaked me out for a minute. Is that just me? Is that is that just a me issue? I hope not, because I would feel <laughs> strange being the only person that freaks out about that. Where have you been? Why were you gone for such a long time? Oh, who is that addressed to? Is this a present? Who is it for? So it's Christmas time. This video was posted on Christmas, and so there's two calendars. Four calendars here. I hear that. Oh, subtitles don't tell me there's deep, indiscernible speech with reverb, or I will cry. Also, so okay. All the dates here are up to Christmas are visible, whilst the 26th through the 31st are blacked out for some reason. And then November, the 1st to the 10th are highlighted in green, and then the rest of the days are left blank, and then, oh, all the rest of the days are fine, and oh, 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 there's a lot of days that are randomly highlighted. And yet, there's nothing on this calendar. Except the 26th to the 31st was also blacked out for some reason. Hmm. Me and Paul. Same time. I swear to I swear to you I have never seen this one. <gasps> Excuse me. Me and Paul just did that at the same time. <laughs> So, <laughs> so he's years. he's inferring these are different years. Yeah. What's the significance? About this green here. About the green, Starts yeah. Off at the checkerboard, then whatever this is, and then weekends. Yeah. Then it's uh, green every day. Mm-hmm. Except for, and then there's oh. like a week or so. There? What? Okay. I don't get it. I don't know it. if you got that immediately. No, I did not. Could you... Yeah, so June to November. Mm-hmm. Paul? Yeah, on that topic... Could you explain I yourself, please? I don't remember please? meeting this girl at all. Huh? Um, I don't remember knowing her. At any point. Who? 
What are you? Oh, he must be on the. F um, he must be on the phone. Either that, or he's just kind of talking to himself and then jumbled I thought. Were you saying that we were, that we we are, um, exactly the same age? Right. Something. Something about a girl. I don't. I did, I just don't remember even hearing about anyone going missing. Oh, wait. <laughs> Is he talking about Care? Because it said that Care was missing when we were in the children's library. Right? Yeah, it said Care is missing, but you may visit her room. So... Is the girl he's talking about Care? So he's saying he has no memory of ever meeting a girl named Care, and also wasn't aware of someone his age going missing. So, I don't hmm. Remember, I remember her going missing. I don't remember anything like that. I mean, I was a kid. But even then, could have been one of those periods when we weren't visiting very much. But I don't know. It seems weird, um, right? Because I don't know if you can you can verify these dates, but fifth um, of June, tenth of November. Right, when she went missing, and when she, uh, was there anything found. in the description for this? Oh, yeah, the Me Too thing. Right. And the 25th here, I'm wondering what the, the what, what, what the animation means there. Right, how the number is animating a bit. Because, right, uh, the 25th. Of December on both calendars, but they're different years. So I don't know if it means it's the 25th of December in this house, but then it's two different years. So that's. I mean. It, I mean, it, it, there's Christmas decorations up in the house, so I'm going to assume it is the 25th of December in the house, though I. It is strange that there's two different calendars with two different years. Okay, I have no idea. Um. Can I use the bathroom? Very hmm. strong resemblance. To what? Between us. Oh. Oh. Of course. Oh. Is that the bathroom? Because he said, can I use what? the bathroom? What? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Hell? Yeah, really. That was an experience. Mm-hmm. There's a ramp into huh. the bathtub and the mirror is green. Oh. Okay. Um. What? Um. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Is it gonna go? Okay, it's at the demo. So. It's right back because some guy we got an edge. So. Why are we suddenly watching a demo? What is happening? This is so jumbled. Oh. Are we a car? Have we turned into a truck? Okay, so it's 12? Or is it 3? I assume it's three. Anyone know how to read an analog clock? I swear to God I know how to read an analog clock, but I'm like, unsure if that's 12 or if it's three. I think it's three. Or no, wait. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been able to, I know how, I swear, I know how to read an analog clock. I swear I do. So the car is driving along. 
Where to? Where are you going now? We're on country road. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama. Take me home. Country road. What the fuck? Huh? It's hard to read an analog for me when the hands are similar in length and the numbers are dots. I swear to God I used to know how to read an analog clock with just the dots because the main things that you have to look out for are the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9 because they're the biggest numbers on the clock that indicate things because the 12 is... Okay, no, wait, no, hold on. The three is the five. Wait. <laughs> I know when it's the six, it also stands for like 30. So is the three 15 and then the... I'm too tired to do more of this. But like I know, I used to know how to read an analog clock. It was very important for classes growing up that we learned how to read an analog clock. Because... They thought that analog clocks would persist into the modern day, or into the future rather, when I was younger. So I did know how to read an analog clock at one point. I even knew how to read it with the no the Roman numerals, but um, that knowledge has since been obliterated because of uh, digital clocks telling us what time it is. But yeah, I... I I swear to God, if I just get reminded which hand's the hour hand and which hand's the minute hand, then I will be able to, like, figure out what time it is. Also, what? Hello? Paul? Pal? Hello, pal. What do you mean, Paul? Hell. <laughs> Hello. That's interesting. Funny. Ha. Ha. That's because he messed up saying hello. The longer hand is the minute hand? That's what I thought. So the short hand's the hour hand. So that meant... I can do this. I swear to God, I can do this. 9, 10, 15, 20... 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So that meant it was like 3, 55, getting close to 4, I think. Or maybe it was 2, 55, getting close to 3. Something along those lines. I saw it in my head, I swear I did. Oh, look, it's Marvin. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the school, I'm assuming, and there's a little tool. What is this sudden- oh. We are suddenly playing Doom. Just imagine the Doom music playing as this is happening. Yeah, there's no commentary here while well, Paul's playing the demo. I get what the person's saying now about it being eerie, but at the same time, uh, it's we've we've been shown this prior that Paul is playing the demo and it's he just doesn't say anything. Also, what what is happening? Wait, why did he move the tool over there? It's interesting. Oh. It's it's interesting that like in the regular game he seems to fumble around and trying to figure out what he's doing, and yet in here, in the demo, he seems more knowledgeable. Because it's I assume this is Paul playing the demo, but I could be wrong. It could be somebody else. But it's just I don't know. Deeply and utterly confused. <laughs> this this game 
so much information spread out that I just cannot for the life of me piece it together because one, my brain is tired and two, the information is so spread out and hard to decipher. Oh my god, you guys remember having to use these types of locks? You guys remember having to use these types of locks uh, in school? I had to use the one of these locks for my gym locker because they didn't have locks. So we had to get our own so that we could protect our gym gear. <laughs> this was in high school, I think. Yeah, it was in high school. We had to get our own lock for our own gym locker. <laughs> Which is absurd. But yeah, um... I hated these lockers. I hated these locks so much. I still hate them. They're so tedious. I hate locks so much. Why is he trying to- is he trying to brute force it? Also, he just- what the- Is Tool trying to figure- is Tool trying to unlock it for him? Also, that's not how you use a lock properly. Because you go- one to the right, circle it back around, to the left, and no, right, then left, then around. Fuck, how do you use those types of locks again? It was, I know it's right, I think it's all the way around left, again, and then right, and then it's unlocked. I think. Don't quote me on that. And now we're back in the proper game without what? the demo. Back to, oh, when Paul first entered the... Oh no, this is the second time he's entering the bathroom because it went Hell. backwards. Wait, what? That was an experience. Whoa, hold on, wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> wait, wait a second, hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. The previous bathroom, he said the exact same thing, by the way. The previous bathroom he was in, though, had a ramp that led into the bathtub with, like, a little block up top. With a symbol in it. Now there's nothing. Excuse me, by the way. Now it's just a proper bathroom. He said the exact same thing he said. Huh. And, uh, what the hell is going on? <sighs> hell, um... Hey. Huh? I could have sworn I just saw... Above the bathtub... Deja vu. Uh, those, um, white blocks with the symbols on them. Deja vu. We were seeing some of those. Deja before. vu. I could have sworn I just saw one of those right, right there. Because he said the same thing and then it um, changed. What the f- what is going on? Oh, my I'm brain, I'm not smart there. enough for this series, I think. Tree's gone. Yeah, the tree's, it's no longer there's Christmas. Here. There's a bucket, there's plants violently vibrating on a table. Um, and, um... That looks the is same. It, is, it cri is it crisis? Is this still Christmas? What? My husband may come here after 6 p.m. Please stay overnight if you can. Thank you so, so much. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Well, signature. Interesting signatures. Just an ooh. There's no two calendars. It's, it's the 5th of June. What? Huh? What? There's the second calendar is gone. So now it's the 5th of June and not no longer the 25th. Out. The in-game time. And what the hell is this? There's plants vibrating mm. intensely. <laughs> That's Care. Another Care. And she's shivering, I think. Oh. Can I get on this bed? Care. Care, no. Someone give her a blanket. Get up on the bed. She's cold. Someone get her a blanket. Quick. Mm. This is supposed to work. Quickly, someone go get her a blankie. She's shivering. The poor girl's shivering. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we can do here. 
for a girl? Um, but I want to see something. Loading screen. Do 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 do. Oh, well, we're free now. That's good. I'm interested in this window. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what to do, but. This looks like an AC unit um, sticking out. Is that Carrie's room? Cause her, her room also had an AC unit. Come in through the window. I don't know if that's the thing. Yeah, I don't think so. You're a little too short, broski. <laughs> Brohim. I'm gonna need a ladder. She's still shivering. Get her a blankie and a and a stuffed animal. Stuff. I don't know. Is there something I missed in here? I don't think so. Quickly. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That's a it's a Oop. fun thing. Fun Oops. thing that just happened. Looks like we're locked in the closet. I didn't do that. Not not the first time um, I've been locked in the closet. I can't close doors. I can't I can't open <laughs> doors either. So I. I uh, also can't, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's fun. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Uh, Quickly, someone I mean, get I, her a blinky. I, I know what it wants me to do now. What? What do you mean? <sighs> You're just stuck in the closet. Watching Care Shiver, poor, poor thing. If only you'd gotten her a blankie. Maybe she wouldn't be so cold. Also, what time is it on the clock? It's six. Six twenty. Six thirty. Six fifteen. I think. Oh Jesus Christ! That scared me. Oh. Marvin just came in and uh -oh. took took care. Care left the room. Jesus Christ! Care. Oh. Wait, what? Care. Care. Put everything back where it was. What Still the? Can't, um... uh. right, First so... of all, this scared the bejesus out of me. Second of all, what? This oh, game so is such a, a trip. What? The Oh, it's Marvel. Uh, where? <laughs> Shit. Where did he just come from? Where did you come from? Where Nothing. did you go? Where did you come from? Cut Nigel. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this game's too much of a ma gonna... mind bender for me. I don't think I have the smarts. He came from the window, as I was saying. I don't think I have the smarts for this one. There are people far smarter than me, yeah. probably, who have yeah, taken on this game. Ladder there. Well, who put the ladder there? Who stuck the ladder here? Owie, my neck. Oh. Ta da. <laughs> Ta da. Um, once I can look at the. I'll come out in a minute. Check Keep now. playing. There's care. When the emergency began, you were all looking for care. A emergency? Huh? I told you all we would never find care. A when care A goes missing, she goes missing forever. Huh? Forever? My brother didn't want us to find him because he knew we were all looking for Michael A. Okay, so the creator of the game's brother was Michael. Got it. But also, what? I'm back. This is my present for you. I started it in 1996 for Marvin. Hmm. If you think they're worth any effort, see if you can save Care B or Care NLM. Care B is in the school, of course. 
Hmm. Fuck you all, and fuck me as well. Merry Christmas. Check your bathroom now. Hmm. Rainer. Rainier, brother. I saw him at a birthday party once. Oh, you know him? On the older. Kids were down in the basement playing video games. I from number one. Fuck you and fuck me. He's Merry Christmas. He's, a, he's older than the rest of them, though. So he knew. Carol left the room. So he knew Rainer. I'm gonna say Rainer because he said Rainer. So check your bathroom. Check your bathroom. So he. So. Okay. Fuck you and fuck me. Merry Christmas. Check your bathroom. I don't like the way that sounds. I don't like the way that sentence is structured because that implies something not good yeah. happened in the bathroom. He created this game for Marvin. I am not the one that should be trying to analyze this, I'm realizing. I think I'm in way over my head. Huh. So Rainer, Rainer had a brother. His name was Michael. And Michael was seven years old when he died. He was a young kid. And... Huh. Play music for baby. She... Will become Melody. Play music for baby, she will. What the fuck? Um. Thanks. Huh? Please cares melody. How does he know how to play this? So care is the baby. But what is what is what? <sighs> Lovely. I can't pay. <laughs> can't piece this together. I'm my brain's gonna explode. I loved Pet Scott, but goddamn, can I not put this together? <laughs> Lovely. Also, that's a piano. Looks more like the Triforce to me. She tripped and fell and is lost. Okay. I'm gonna assume he's talking about care. What? Where? Where did she trip and fall? <laughs> she just keeps playing the triangle. Stop. Some extra little notes out <laughs> so slow to input stuff as Marvin's quicker sorry tiara plays bad music two Tiara plays bad music too. 
do it right next time. Tiara plays bad music too. Do it better next time. Hmm. Sad. Okay. Paul. I'm just gonna assume he's trying to put Paul, but he keeps putting pal instead. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. My mouse was asleep, sorry. We are now on to Pet Scott 12. Give it up for Pet Scott 12. We are nearly to 14, guys. We're just a couple more away. Whoop, whoop. We're nearly there. How long have we been live? Almost four hours. <laughs> Oh shit. Lovely. Okay, so. So, this description's the same as the last one. This one's shorter. Paul seems to be in demo mode again, and this time he's in the quitters room. But the person on the other side doesn't seem to be there. The person with the short hair and the big smile. Does it still say, Do you remember being born? He entered the quarters room again. And there's a triangle. <laughs> okay, is that pyramid head? What happened? What, uh, what, what does it say? Let me see. You just gonna stand there? Okay. What is the purpose? Why are we in the quitters room? Okay. We are now promptly exiting the quitters room. Getting more bits. Also, I'm realizing now because the demo mode is typically the mode that is played when uh, you leave the- it's like a preview of what's to come, of like a person who is testing the game. Uh, when you leave the game sat for too long, inactive. How did Paul figure out how to play the game in demo mode? Without, you know, making- waking the game back up. How did- how did he figure out how to do that? Cause that's a- that's a feat in and itself. Trying to figure out how to play the game without disturbing it so that you're still in demo mode i don't i don't understand oh hi bill huh you're free oh i left these messages for you to look at in case you were ever rescued bell is it wait hold on a second so Bell's name, hold on. Bell's name looks like the same color as Tiara. You know, how Tiara has like a purple hue to her name. So Bell and Tiara are connected in some way because of the the color consistency. It's kind of like how in Mentions of Care that's yellow. So hmm. So while you walk around looking for something to do, I'll come up with peri I'll come up periodically. Okay. So wait, is Paul not the one playing the demo then? Uh, I don't know anymore. When the messages run out, I'll be out of your hair forever and ever. So is Paul not the one playing the demo then? Is someone else playing the demo? Is is Bell playing the demo? Because that's who the person mentioned. Uh, in that message. You've apparently been running Petscop non-stop for five... What is this fucking number? Five... Where's million? Hold on, I'm trying to... Where's the million? That's an impossibly large number. I think this is beyond billion. Yeah, because that would be... If you get rid of the two fives, that'd be three million seven hundred and fifty-eight thousand 
221, and when you put the one of the fives on there, it's five billion. So is it five quintillion? Like I said, it's beyond billion. Seconds, or 15... 1,538,000... Or wait. 000... Nope, that's not right. I'm trying to figure out. 153,822 hours. There you go, I figured it out. Reading numbers without the little comma is hard. <laughs> I am also just number illiterate. I have math. I have number dyslexia, so my brain's like, wait, what is this number? <laughs> Mixing up all the numbers and making me want to move, like, a couple of the numbers over. My brain's like, wait. That looks dubious to me. What do you think? Dubious. Well, it's probably how long Carl, Ka I almost called him Carl. Paul has been running the game. I don't know why I almost called Paul Carl. I guess because my brain said, put C. <laughs> and I was like, Carl. I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> His name is Paul. I used to know a guy named Paul in uh, my high school year. I knew all throughout my high school career a guy named Paul. We were the same age, and we graduated at the same time. He turned out to be an awful person, though. He was a, he was a neo-Nazi, and he was hiding... He was hiding being a neo-Nazi, but he was making, like, anti-Semitic jokes constantly, and it was... Well, during senior year, anyway. He didn't do it before until senior year, and then we were all extremely uncomfortable because we were like, what the hell are you... What the fuck are you doing, dude? And we all just kind of gradually stopped talking to him. But this Paul's way better than... than that Paul. Are you still sitting on a chair? Yes, I'm sitting on my chair currently. Can you still look around the room? Is there still a room? Uh, yeah, I'm in a room. I know it, it's not talking to me, but I'd like to answer the questions as though it were referring to me. <laughs> I need to entertain myself somehow so I don't accidentally uh, fall asleep because I am sleepy. This is the child library. Yes, I kind of figured that it was. You're not family, so I didn't add your traits to the face system. Huh? You're not family? That's a bit mean. That means I didn't add your, your eyes or your eyebrows or your nose. Why not the mouth? Isn't that also an important part of the face, the mouth? How else, how else do you talk? Oh, ASL, actually. <laughs> sign language. If you have hands, you can sign. Though this little little guy doesn't have hands. I wonder if you could learn how to sign with your feet. Also, hi Marvin. Green man is back. Green head man. Hello Marvin. <laughs> Don't get lost. Okay. Wasn't planning on it, but thank you for the the reminder. Hmm. Where are we headed? Did he get stuck? <laughs> Did he get stuck in place? Marvin? Marvin? You alright, buddy? <laughs> He's just stuck in place. <laughs> alright. Happy birthday, Belle. Oh, oh, I didn't even... Okay. I guess it's Belle's birthday today. Or whichever day this was recorded, I don't even know when these are recorded anymore. I'm calling you Bill because that's who you are. I see. You might be confused as to what happened. I'm confused to what's happening now, buddy. Can you stop being vague? 
please. <laughs> please. I was over eager before and started calling you Tiara prematurely. Oh, see, what did I tell you? Same color gradient, same everything. So Tiara and Belle are the same person. I created a space in the menu for you, still unused now. Hmm, wait a minute. Why is he referring? Then I put you inside the machine and started the second movement of Stravinsky's Septet on the Needles. Stravinsky's Septet on the Needles. I played it wrong, but that would have been okay. Is this guy trying to- what is he trying to do? If you hadn't given up halfway through, you would have be you would be Tiara. This is not what happened, and now I'm gone. What? If you hadn't given up halfway, you would be Tiara. Is this in reference? Is this in? Oh, we're on Petscop thirteen now. Was this in reference to the rebirthing shit? Uh, because I know that that um. In the earlier episodes, it was mentioning, like, do you remember being born? And, you know, we went over the Candace Newmaker case, which is sadly somewhat tied to this series. With the concept of rebirthing. So was, was whoever this was who was talking to Belle trying to rebirth her into becoming Tiara? <sighs> Oh, man. I don't know. That would be really fucked up if they were, because the rebirthing thing is really, really fucked up. Research it if you have time, but, like, be cautious, because it's a really fucked up process, and it's not actually a legal, like, a thing you should do. So we finally made some progress. So it is Paul playing the demo, I what? Think. Wait, what? Oh my god, my brain. What is happening? Oh. What, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I wish I had answers. You know, it probably has to do with the thing on the, the tool on the road. The road, the, t the what on the road? What is he kicking the bucket around for? Sorry to keep yawning, yeah. by the way. Oh, there's a tool on the road. Yeah, wait. You was right. That. Yeah. Sorry to keep yawning, by the way. It's late. My brain is like, go back. Go sleep. Pa Paul? <laughs> yeah, these two are definitely... <laughs> blocking it. I don't know what that means. That. I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch that tool, Paul. What the f Right, so it uh, comes up. Oh, whoa, oh, okay. There's another one of those cubies. Cube thingies. Oh. Oh. And now it's changed color. Wow, okay. Cool, we got a tool in a bucket now. Cool. This is... What is going on? <laughs> I keep asking this, but I'm like, so genuinely confused. Star, are you still here? Because, like, genuinely... <laughs> I would not blame you if you bailed at all. I'm so sorry this isn't the most entertaining like w it was with Needle Mouse. But I... yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a new file. Uh, you might might have occurred to you as it occurred to me that uh, these rooms are uh, th this room and the uh, house our counterparts because they both have this bucket and they are shaped similarly so I thought I would try out 
uh, what we did before. Uh, this this bucket is in no need to move around. Uh, mm -hmm. Just gonna, yeah. Oh, we're doing and, some bucket uh, pushing. It worked. God, I'm not gonna be able to get this to the. Nope. Okay. Oh, hmm. oh, oh, oh. Good night. This is working out pretty well. And I'm feeling some doubt because this bucket seems way too small. I think you should put it in. Oh. Uh, but I should not have felt doubt. You got him. You got Toneth, I think. Or is that Roneth? I think that's Roneth. The pet room that started this whole thing. I just. Demo I... recording. We did get Roneth. Roneth is Toneth's baby half brother. I see. Because he's younger, he gets to learn from all of Toneth's mistakes. Oh. Like a real sibling relationship. That's why he always looks both ways. Oh. That's right, Roneth had something like with uh, getting hit by a car. He doesn't get into trouble. You won't have to watch him all the time. He's good. Uh-huh. Okay. That was... Well, we finally... Incredibly upsetting. Got for some reason. Out. You finally got a Roneth. That's fine. Oh, is he getting all the pets? Huh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, you did it wrong. No, no, no. You did it right. Oh. My memory of pets got born is all but a blur. Congratulations, you caught every pet and even cared, aside from Toneth, who isn't in here yet. I swear to God, he had, oh, he had Toneth. Huh? You have seen everything in the game so far, but there will be obviously, or there will obviously be more, rather. It's a growing organism. Mm hmm. Your controller inputs will be useful, but your feedback will be even more useful. I don't know how. What? <laughs> what? Paul, what are you doing, buddy? Did he did he knock on like the 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 TV screen? Please leave the PlayStation on when you leave. You can stand up now. Huh? Is he knocking on the screen like the the TV screen from where he's playing the game or like the monitor screen whatever the hell he's playing this on? What? 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 He's pl what? Wait, 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 wait. Was he playing the game? <laughs> wait, what the fuck was he? Did he make? Did wait? <laughs> wait. <coughs> Cause the subtitles say car door opened. Did Paul- was Paul playing this fucking game in his car? Did he manage to hook up the- a, a system, a PlayStation, and a- and a television into his car to play this game? What? How the- what? How is that even remotely possible? Why would you want to play a PlayStation game in your car, first of all? Second of all, how did he manage this? I'm genuinely confused. I'm like... like... 
making sure I didn't miss anything about <laughs> I'm literally at a loss for words. So was the glass he was knocking on then? His fucking car window? And he was adjusting his seat in the car? What the fuck? Huh? Paul? I think you have some explaining to do. Cause... Why? Why is he playing his game in his car? What? So now we're on Petscop 14. We're on the last video for now, guys. You made it. You made it, guys. You made it. Holy shit, we did it. <laughs> we did it, guys. We made it halfway. This is the last video we're watching for the evening. Four hours in. And then uh, we'll pick this up hopefully next week, probably. And... Uh, catch catch the rest of the the rest of the series this has been a hell of a journey we got 27 minutes are you ready let's do this thing so far we've got a green screen demo screen with a green screen oh we're in a room so we got like I love Lucy beds I see if you don't know what I'm talking about. So there's this time in television where you couldn't show a married couple sleeping right next to each other in the same bed. So they did this approach, and I think I Love Lucy popularized it, where they had two separate beds for married couples on television. So one would sleep in one bed and the other one would sleep in another bed. But they were married. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably because it was too scandalous, you know, like too, too revealing. There would be implications of like doing nasty stuff. <laughs> so television networks were like, mm -mm -mm. there has to be room for Jesus. So let's, let's put them in separate beds. So yeah, when, uh, when there's two separate beds meant for a married couple, uh, we call them I Love Lucy beds. This windmill vanished off the face of the earth. Ooh, the music is so nice. Here's a similar puzzle for you, Marvin. I want to know who the composer was for this. If uh, the person who created the game also worked on the, um, maybe one of them had different spine needs. Well, that's what those adjustable beds are for. Those tempur beds or whatever. But no, 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 no. They genuinely, like... They they had to have separate beds on television. <laughs> Otherwise, there would be implications. And they didn't want people to make implications. Because everything had to be puritanical. Otherwise, uh, you were uh, doing stuff that the Lord didn't approve of. I can't remember what I was talking about before. Anyway. There are two pictures of a door. In the first picture, the door is closed. Wait, hold on. I already forgot. There's two pictures of a door. Okay. Two pictures of a door. In the first picture, the door is closed. Okay. Closed door. In the second picture, taken later, the door is open. So is it the same door? Or is it a different door? Nobody opened the door. Okay. The door did not open itself. Okay. This door, or the door, in fact, did not open at all. What is this, fucking Schrodinger's door? What happened? Schrodinger's door? Schrodinger's door. What else can I tell you? <laughs> Where it is simultaneously, uh... Open, but not open. Uh, it, it is... It is open unless you look at it. <laughs> and then it is... It's, it, I forget how you explain Schrodinger's box or whatever. Schrodinger's cat. You know, the, that, that, qua that quandary. Is that the right one? That, that thought thing. That thought experiment. Where if you put a cat in the box... 
Unless you open the box, you assume the cat is alive, but it could also be dead. Schrodinger's door. <laughs> We're putting that logic to a door. But I guess in this instance, if it's saying the door didn't open itself, nobody opened the door. The door, in fact, is... The door, in fact, was... What? It did not open at all. So then it asks, what happened? It didn't open by its... Would, it, would a breeze open the door? But then again, a door is pretty sturdy unless you get the... Like a tornado or a hurricane. It's... I don't know, man. I'm not smart enough for that thought process. <laughs> I'm not smart enough. Also, the flashing green is a little distracting. Weirdly, I like that color green. I can't tell you why. Like, the bright green? Looks nice. Also, they got Powerpuff Girl colors unless you get the... You gotta get the pink in there and then you got all three of them. But right now, you just got Bubbles and Buttercup. I don't know why my mind is wandering to these things. I think it's because I... I'm not, I'm not smart. <laughs> I can't process what's happening. And I'm just kind of observing. Also, what is happening? Paul, are you alright, buddy? It's just running into shit. I can't just wait. Oh, shit. Um, thankfully, I have been... Uh, suddenly inspired by an idea. Okay. That is, in a way, similar to the idea that brought me to this house. Mm-hmm. Um, because that idea involved pretending. Pretending something was there that wasn't there. Uh, and this huh. idea involves pretending that this door right here, this one, is open rather than closed. You can see that it's and closed. Um, well, no, it's open what I'm now, going to what? Do, and what I invite you to do as well is picture... I'm going to picture in my head... That this door is actually open right now. Uh, okay. And if I were to pass through this doorway, um, what would happen? I would. Would I bump into a door? No, because the door is open, right? I would just keep going into the room that's there. And I happen to know I'm gonna walk into the room right now. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm in the room. I happen to know what this room looks like because I saw it in a demo recording just today. Um, He's in the demo too, recording, though. I assume. It will be up on the family YouTube along with the, the Wait, what did he say? Um, and you can see it too. I assume it will be up on the family YouTube. You mean the current YouTube channel that we're watching right now? So his... F okay, this has a whole new th Im implication then. So his... So the people that took over his YouTube channel, the we that said they took over, is his family. His family took over his YouTube channel, and at the behest, at their behest, he is recording videos that they then upload to the channel. Also, there's a sensor bar over something in this room. So... Huh... <laughs> That's interesting. I assume it will be up on the family YouTube along with this video that I'm recording right now. So he's um, recording multiple videos. You can see what the room looks like in that recording. Um, on the uh, right, right, left, left, right side, there's a windmill. I, there is a windmill. I don't have it in front of me right now. I should. Um, on the right side, there's a windmill. On the left side, there is something that um, Marvin does not bother to look at, but we will be looking at. Marvin um, was in the demo recording? So, Wait, what? Um, the question is, I'm what do I so do thoroughly next? Confused. If, I, if I were in this room right now, would I... Um, I want to go to the thing that Marvin didn't look at. So I'm going to go to the right, um, and the? I think... So if I go to the right... Oh, God, I think I went a little too far, actually. What the fuck? Uh, the, no. Well, I think actually what happens here, the problem is that it's a kind of a branching point. I could stop, I could be blocked by the beds, or I could keep going. 
past the bed to the other side of the room, so I could actually be on either side of the room right now. Um, hmm. But either way, I guess it doesn't hmm. matter, but I'm going to assume um, I'm on the thing that I got blocked by the beds, and I... So he really is just imagining that he is in the room right now. He's not actually in the room. He's pretending the door is open and going through the room as though he were in the room and he can't see in this room that we are able to see here because he's he's imagining it. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Dear God, what is happening? What is it's going on? Up, 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 up. Uh, just keep going up. Um... There will be a question mark that appears that will let me go and do something. Um, if I press X, something will happen. Um, and what will happen? Uh, I think possibly a text box will open because that's what happens with the windmill, right? Uh, I'm gonna press. I pressed X, and a text box appeared. There appears to be a bunch of frames. That is probably cryptic, and we don't really care too much about. So we're gonna press X a bunch of times um, to get through all the text. Um, but we can look at it later. Oh. Um, there could be a lot of it, so I'm, it could be a, like a book in there. A lot of stuff we don't oh. care about. Oh. He's under the assumption he's looking through the note, the, the, the quandary, the, the, the question that, that I'm assuming Reiner posed to, to Marvin. But he's looking at something else. Oh, this is, oh. Oh my, <laughs> I'm getting like secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> I feel so bad. A lot of it. Or, or it's not a text box and it could be literally anything else in the world. Yeah, um, you're right about, you, about that. When you press X. Uh, so, the next thing I can think to do is just press buttons randomly um, and chaotically. And hopefully we'll, you know, see some results. So I'm, I'm doing that right now. I don't know if you can hear that, uh... <laughs> I'm being what real, is going um, on? Chaotic right now. With the controller. Yeah, I can tell, Paul. What is he fucking yeah, doing? I'm thinking, you know... I'm thinking I'm being really productive right now. I don't think you are, sir. I think, I think you're pushing really buttons. <laughs> um, it's just that we can't really. I love the layering of the videos over. <laughs> I love the layering of the videos over this to show what he's actually doing versus, like, what's happening in the realm that he uh, has imagined himself into. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. Hey, cat, what are you doing? He has a cat. Wait, don't call your cat stupid. He's just a little guy. Don't be. Don't be mean. Looks like he's having cares now. This game too he? fucking much. No. Okay. Well. Yeah, I kind of figured you'd play this game a little too much. I think you're losing your mind a bit, Paul. And so, the, the windmill isn't there. I think I can... So, I, I get blocked by the... I do get blocked by the beds. Um, and I go up... Uh, I think... Oh, God, I could be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this while I'm talking. So, anyway, well, was I... So I've seen, I've actually seen recordings that it made of me from a year ago. A year um, and ago? And I had not seen that, you know, recording in the time between, so it was holding on to this thing, and it only decided a year later to play back. Um, hmm. There a are year. also um, recordings that I assume are stored on the CD, or might even be scripted. But, um, in one of the recent videos, this was, this was one that went on the public YouTube, um, I lost the video, I lost it, um, I had the audio, um, the game had the recording, hmm. even, 
there were two parts to this this session. Uh, it had both of them. It played them back two different occasions as demo recordings. I got them, but okay. So here's the thing. Those. Um, Intr okay, those that's interesting. Demo recordings can be different, right? They can right. be different from when I was playing the one. So when I caught all of those pets and it showed the text, yeah, um, that was different from what it showed when I was playing. Really? It, it showed something. It? it happened to line up right perfectly. Uh, same number of text boxes and so forth, um, and also um, the music wasn't there in the demo. Um, there can be differences, huh. and this was part of what made it seem reasonable that the door could be open. Um, I'm not uh. saying it wasn't still nuts. So I'm actually I'm going to do this now. So, uh, right, so I'm, I'm assuming that triangle is back, but it could be square or circle and just do all of them. Um, okay. I, hmm. So, I'm trying to process what you said before about the recording being saved on the game of a prior session. The one where he caught all the pets and it was different for him than it was on the recording. So then that begs the question, what did it say in the original one and not the one that we saw? Because he wouldn't elaborate. I can actually, I can actually, I think I can rotate these. Uh-huh. He has to do all of this, uh, whilst, uh, you know, not being able to see anything, and he has to reference the recording that he took, the previous recording, so that he has somewhat of an idea of what he's doing. Also, that, why is the one, why are the top two covered in a, by a, Sensor bar. Huh? Eh? Oh, uh, never mind. The, the, it's just there's a sensor okay. bar in the room that's covering something on the top right corner. What um, is it? So, I mean, I could have gone just totally off the rails by this point. I could be anywhere. <laughs> no, you're still there, Paul. So, uh, attempt five was this room over here. Attempt um, now five. Attempt six. We're going to try to push. Attempt the six. Into the. What other is he room. attempting to do? I'm going back to this room now. Uh, again, gotta make sure this is aligned exactly right. Uh, hmm. Uh, um. Oh. Okay. So we're going this way. Oh 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 oh. And um. I'm just going to leave it there uh, and see okay. what happens. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. Uh. I wonder how he he's getting the second footage. Maybe it's just from the actual demo playback. I don't know how he's getting the second layer of footage. I really genuinely don't. And at this point, I don't know if I will know. Okay, again. My brain is so tired. <laughs> 22. 22? And... 22? I think that's right. Paul? Are you okay? Right. Oh. No, we don't have to worry about that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He has it mapped out really well now. Oh, what the fuck? The bucket's in the corner now. Rolling? Wait, wait. There's something on the wall. And it's covering up. It's being covered up by paint. Interesting. The room is now getting covered in. And now he has a key. Oh, oh, oh. And there he goes. Alright, now we're on the scary part. One. Two. Now, one, two, three. Oh, he four, still can't see, five, so he's six, seven. Oh, oh, come on, Paul. He's sh he oh, oh, oh. He he did it somehow. 
Damn, this must have taken so much time. Oh, choir. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Cool. Um. Um. Oh. Uh. Okay. That is not how the Gerolina logo normally is. It's skewed. I okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try to head back to the demo. Also, I'm still cold. I'm literally curled up in a tiny little ball trying to rain maintain warm warmth. Here I am. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Strange situation. That's not the normal file he plays in. What? Paul? Paul? It. But, uh, uh, you, you broke. You broke it. Files. Paul, it broke your diddly. You broke your diddly darn game. Paul? God damn it, Paul. I hope it didn't. I hope it didn't, he says, as he then is staring down one file that he did not make, and all the other files he had are gone. <laughs> Sweetheart, your progress is, is dissipated. I don't know how to tell you. What to tell you, rather. What? A sign that is pointing to the left, there's a balloon. Some cake and there's care on the sign. I'm assuming it's a birthday party. Wait, no, come back. Come back. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I'm turning into Fluttershy. Yay. Oh. You made it! Happy birthday! We got a little party hat on. That's cute. Oh, I love that little avatar's got a cute little hat. Oh, why are you covering your face? I don't have hands. Or oh, oh wait. Oh. That's mm. Hmm. Something happened. Oh, he's got a little blue. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. I'm so. Oh, of course I recognize you. Um. Okay. Those eyes. That nose. That's still you. You recognize someone solely from their eyes and their nose? That's impressive, actually. I would not be able to do that. <laughs> I could only recognize a person from all seeing their entire face. Go ahead and have a slice. Damn, I want some cake now. You know, I want some red velvet. I love red velvet cake. Oh, don't worry about those. Oh, what? What is going on? Okay, calendar. So it's the 12th of, no 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 12th of November. So it's Care's birthday? Oh, she like because this it, there was a sign out front that had care. I still don't know what these days are for. I sure hope you realize by now. Realize what? Am I missing something? It doesn't matter how long you've been gone. It doesn't matter how much you've changed. Hmm? You aren't lost. Stop wandering and come home. I, I kind of feel lost. 
if I am in going to be entirely honest with you. 12th of November on this calendar as well. Assuming this is also a different year. Like the other one was. I don't, I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there and see if it sticks. Oh. He's gotta go check something. So what I'm thinking is that this is either 1995 or or it's 2017 okay he's so much Paul is so much smarter than me and I <laughs> he's he's making so much more like leaps and bounds toward this than I ever could like I'm still leagues behind him at this point what bad feeling? You okay, Paul? You need to lay down for a sec? Oh. Oh, I'm in the room now. Care, are you okay? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. It, I thought it was Care. You ran straight into the door. Did you think it was open? Aw, oh, poor baby. I've done that before. I've run straight into a door thinking it was open. <laughs> a couple of times. Admittedly, I was really small when I did that, but there have been a couple of times in my adult life I've just run into a door <laughs> thinking it was open because I wasn't paying attention close enough. I can't see. What do you think that is on there? I'm assuming it's a picture of the CD, just based on what we've seen before, but the room is far too dark to see anything. Hmm. Where is the disc? Where are the discovery pages? So is this care talking? Discovery pages? What are those? Paul, you might want to move away. What are you talking about? What disc? Discovery pages? Jill, stop fucking ignoring me. Get in here and show me where that disc is. Who is Jill? <laughs> Paul, are you alright, buddy? Jill? Who the fuck is Jill? No care. This is mommy. This is your mommy, sweetie. I'm right here in front of you. There's no one else here. Hmm. What are you looking at? What's over there? Hmm. Interesting. She's just talking about stuff that's not making sense. Care, can't you hear me? Can't you see me waving? Snap out of it, Care. Where are you going? Excuse me. Oh. You alright? Paul? I don't think he's okay. <laughs> oh. No? Uh. He's just kind of been sitting there for a little bit now. Oh. I think... No? I think... Yeah? What's I on think... your mind? 
It's on your mind, Paul. That was based off of a conversation that I had last year on my birthday. Huh. So how did the wait? How did the game get a hold of a conversation he had a year ago on his birthday with someone named Jill? That's that's real. That's impossible. <laughs> Unless the game was like recording him secretly and then in integrating the conversation. If it wasn't just a word for word. Hmm. Then that means I'm. Um, getting pranked? <laughs> oh yeah, but sure. You're totally, you're totally getting punked. Trick works exactly. You're totally getting punked, Paul. Totally, <laughs> with the most obvious sarcasm ever. He's, I, I don't think you're getting punked. I don't. I don't think so, buddy. Also, you broke the game. Good job, Paul. Is he still in his car? Or is he back at home? Cause if he's in his car... I have to buddy. Jill. Who the f- Who is Jill? Who is- who's Jill? Paul? He's in his car. He's in his car. Paul, get out of your car, buddy. Who the fuck is Jill? <laughs> Obviously, it must so be a family all, member. I asked the internet. I asked the internet. So how that's might one rewrite to a CDR? CDR computer disk. The internet's ROM. response to that question was nothing. You can't. You idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot. What are you doing? Well, I mean, don't call him. You're not an idiot, Paul. But yeah, you can't rewrite Some CDRs. You can't rewrite. Yeah. You, you can't rewrite CDRs. That's like literally impossible. Oh! I found so the computer room! I found the computer room, guys! Something discovery pages. Oh, those are the. Di oh, we found the discovery pages, guys. Speaking what? Of oh, the website. You remember the note that was left for the games that said find the website? This is the website. Yep. <laughs> Paul just finished my sentence. <laughs> I think it says pets got for some discovery it's pages. In the game on a computer screen. I don't know how else you'd be able to find the website IRL because I'm pretty sure the domain would have yeah, the, the, elapsed. But I guess this makes sense to find it in the, the game. This is the Your Child page. What? What do you mean? The text. What do you mean? Me too, honestly, but what do you mean the Your Child page? Mm -hmm. You mean like yeah. all the, the pets? Mm -hmm. I don't know what he means. There's two. Ugh, excuse me. Me either, Paul. What even is this? I don't know. Oh, look. Pets got kid. Very smart. <laughs> I'm losing my mind a little bit. I think I've lost my, my sanity a little. So cute. It's got a little party hat. Little party hat and little, little balloon. That's gonna be me on my birthday. Huh? Oh, the running into the door thingy. Fuck. Oh, that's. Oh. What? D oh. <laughs> what a way to end the, en the entry with a, 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 a censored text box. Saying fuck and then promptly, uh, uh, dropping it <laughs> and then ending. Well, 
Well, that's gonna that's gonna be it for the evening. That's gonna be it, everybody. Ah, oh, I still don't know what's going on in Petscop. I'm gonna be entirely honest with you guys. Um, something's happening with this girl named uh, Care. Something's going on with Paul. Who the hell is Belle slash Tiara? Who is Marvin? Who is Jill? There's so much to still uncover, and we still have like 10 different videos to watch. But I am beyond exhausted, and I don't think I could go for another several hours of sifting through all of this. Because I am running out of steam. I am out of steam. I need some, some sleep. So next week, hopefully, I'm crossing a finger. I'm not too busy next week. But you never know, because university is incredibly demanding. I have a lot of stuff I have to do from schoolwork and projects and it's my senior year of college so I have to start working on uh, my graduation stuff so uh, praying that next week I have a moment <laughs> to relax uh, I will see if I can finish Petscop next week and then we can come to the conclusion uh, like what is going on what's happening with Paul and everyone else and we might have to watch a theory video, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. We're, we might have to... We're gonna have to watch a theory video, because I am not... I thought I was smart enough to encode what was going on, but I... I am not. <laughs> but thank you all for coming out tonight. It was a pleasure. I had so much fun. Uh, Petscop is, a, is an interesting series. It is a very... Very interesting series, but uh, admittedly, uh, it is a, a bit confusing, but it is a challenge I am willing to take on. Uh, just not tonight. <laughs> Next week, probably. Uh, but thank you all for coming out tonight. Make sure you get something to eat if you haven't eaten yet. Get something to drink if you haven't drank anything yet. Make sure to do your homework and or study for that test if you haven't yet. I know some of you guys tend to procrastinate on your work. I have been there. I do that a lot. Um, <laughs> so do it if you have, if you haven't yet. Um, make sure to take a shower if you haven't taken one yet. Make sure to brush your teeth, brush your hair, do it. You, pet your pets. If you have a pet, go pet your pets. Uh, unless it's a fish, then do not pet your pet. <laughs> you can't pet a fish. Uh, but do what you need to do to take care of yourselves. Just know that I love you and I care about you. And there are people in your life that love and care about you as well. Uh, typically, during this part here, I would recommend a YouTuber for you all to go and watch. But I uh, don't have anybody in mind. So once again, go watch your favorite YouTuber. Go watch your favorite video from your favorite YouTuber. A comfort video, if you will. I'm probably going to go crash go to bed, um, but if I weren't so tired, I'd probably go put on a Cory video. I've been binging his uh, Chill as Art videos lately because I've been in need of some comfort and his, his videos are very comforting. But yeah, I will catch you all hopefully next week for the wrapping up of Petscop. Thank you all for coming out. Bye! Bye everyone! Bye! Bye 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 take care of yourselves all right take care of yourselves Mwah. Mwah. and blind kisses your guys' way platonic kisses of course <laughs>